Excuse me. Go. I'll be back. It was. Or maybe I won't be asked. It was the chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the mother crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. minutes to decide where we're going to start. Focus, Wyvern. We don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. Time to move. Alright, is my good my mic's actually working this time? Alright. Um So we're gonna get a little bit of commentary squeezed on in here. Uh when we want to when we can, the bare minimum we wanna be jumping pretty much everywhere. Uh especially up slopes and down slopes, it'll be much faster. But just in general, jumping can get us, uh, will save us a little bit of time everywhere. It's just worth doing. There are other movement tech, but they're limited to combat areas. You don't get to die here, Wyvern. And Move! certain combat movement is different from just general movement and, uh, overall. Right now, we're limited to jumping, basically. This won't save a ton of time here, because we're actually going to get uh, hard locked. Well, there, there's a hard cutoff here, where in the following area, we're going to have to climb up a wall, but the game won't let us climb up it immediately. So this is just kind of showcases how jumping in general makes us move quicker. So I'll just kind of be standing there for a minute before the game lets me climb the wall. So... Normally, you'd be able to climb up this immediately, because I was jumping. It didn't let me go immediately. 
it's just a little bit of a showcase of how it does actually save little bits of time. And it adds up pretty quick. So right here, we normally have to do a combat training. Uh, but because we have a save, the game will allow us to choose to skip it or not. It's a good three to five minutes. Uh, so we really don't want to do that if possible. But if we were going to enforce that as like part of a new game run... Uh, you'd have to delete all your saves. Uh, and since the game auto-saves, you'd have to delete up to 10 auto-saves each time to get rid of that. So, uh, the community opted to not do the 3-5 to five minute combat tutorial that's really slow with a bunch of pop-ups that's just not enjoyable in any significant way. Oops, I was forgetting to jump there. I want to make sure to say why to Joshua here. If I get too close to him, I'll initiate uh, dialogue. This is one of the few doors we can buffer the R2 on here. And by one of the few, it's literally the only one in the entire game. Every other place where we have to hit R2, we have to wait for the prompt to show up to start interacting with it. For better or worse, my X button, X button is not happy with this state of affairs. Also, what are you trying to lock onto, game? That camera operation was not me, because the camera's on R2, and I'm currently mashing X with my thumb. So I have no idea what that... The camera was getting stuck on there, but it got stuck on something. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is a common theme with this game is there are a ton of cutscenes. And there's a ton of them back to back. A lot of cutscenes are minimum two back to back, up to three. And the fact that they take a while to load is also kind of like a very big pace killer. Um, so it is probably the biggest issue that this game has. Like uh, my experience with Remake and uh, Rebirth is the other games I prefer to run more often. The thing, like, I love the combat in this game, but it is what it is. Alright, so we're going to have to go into our menu here. We need to do a few things. Uh, this menu, we never want to be on, but the game likes to put us in that menu an awful lot. Uh, going to pick up skills here and go. Alright, now we got some decent combat movement here, at least for the very early game. Clive can chain thrust together, as long as he's young Clive, uh, so this is a nice movement tech. The shameful thing is, if we could do this the entire game, it would save so much time and make our lives so much easier. But instead, in New Game Plus, we have almost... Dang it! I was hoping that would hit both of them. It's not very often that Wing will hit both of those enemies. So, threading that needle is not something that normally is possible. It's a nice little time save if it happens, but... Okay, that's not what I wanted either. Okay... So one of the things I'm doing here is when I upgraded my abilities, I also learned Charge Magic and Burning Blade, which both are charge abilities for my magic attack and my physical attack. Okay. That's about the only one where you can guaranteed get both of them. Are you serious? Uh, at least it chased me. It could have been a lot worse. Ideally, Wade would hunt that one down, but it is what it is. We're gonna avoid picking up that potion, because we'll get a, uh, prompt. Unfortunately, there's no way I can avoid all of the potions. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. Ugh. 
this <sighs> much. Those fights were all really bad, if, but it wasn't for lack of trying. Shit! He's invited a friend! On your feet, Sir Wade. Here it comes! That's a swing and a half. Be ready to move when it winds up for another. Don't have to tell me twice. Okay, that was wrong. That's unfortunate. I had to go for the safe method. You normally want to either kill Gigas before Big Swing happens, or um, interrupt it with a parry attack. Unfortunately, I couldn't hit the timing for it, so I kept going. Big Swing can only be stopped with a parry. Even if you could stagger, in that case, we could stagger. Uh, big Swing blocks that from happening. Unfortunately, in the early game here, we're stuck with a very specific weapon. Um, and there's no way to upgrade it. We could have gone and grabbed the Strength Tonic, but that's not that big of a deal. Okay. This is the potion I was yapping about. Uh, we don't need him, because we'll get more later anyway. We do have a stone skin tonic, which will increase our defense, but, uh, ideally, we don't have to defend anything. Keep clear of its more, my lord. That thing's breath. Oh my. It's worse than its bite. Oh, god dang it! Mm, I hate it when that happens. Mm. <sighs> That's so frustrating. Normally, you can parry out of the way of uh, bad breath there and just have enough damage on board that. or not, not. You can normally parry out of the way of Bad Breath there, and then do a counter hit. What happened is, sometimes, if you're not in the, the right position, you'll still get hit by the edge of Bad Breath after parrying. Uh, because you do get iframes while parrying, and, or dodging an attack. So parrying and dodging are kind of two different things, but... That's very frustrating, get hit by Bad Breath. Uh, luckily it's not the end of the world, it's just, uh, embarrassing. It happens every once in a while, though. Thanks for the stone skin tonic on a downed enemy, dude. I don't know if I hit damage cap there. I'm in a really weird spot. So they're trying to show off the cinematic stuff. We're going to be doing this a lot throughout the game. I know pretty much all of the prompts, so I'm going to be doing them and mashing them before the prompt even comes up. Some of them I'll miss on purpose because it's a bit faster to do it that way. As long as it's sub-15, I'm happy. Though that felt like a 15, for sure.
All right, so we've got one more mini dungeon to go through while the game's still tutorializing us. Uh, this this one is a bit weird. We actually start with Joshua. Um, this is the one place where we play with a completely different character. Uh, otherwise, all uh, human combat will be Clive and Clive alone, or at least in terms of the characters you control. If you want to count Torgal as controllable, uh, but Torgal is relegated to three buttons, so kind of hard to parse that. But um, Joshua has a completely different set of moves, and because he's younger, he moves a little bit slower. There's really no way to speed Joshua up. We're just kind of on rails at this point. But you'll notice he has Circle for Kiriga. Um, normally, we don't get access to healing, at least not in that method. The only way we can heal is via potions, uh, Torgal's heal command, or the limit, which we'll see a little bit later. Uh, the heal command and the limit can only heal our uh, gray bar, the extra little HP that isn't fully gone, but isn't, you know, part of our active HP pool. A lot of the rooms are going to look like this. I'm going to fire a gun twice here, because I, unless Wade hits them immediately it's just faster to do it that way because the this triggers a cutscene anyway and it doesn't matter where i'm standing this room it can be pretty awful uh at any other time uh even if joshua gets to the other side of the room we really 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 need wade to kill here because Joshua's physical isn't enough to kill, plus it'll also leave him winded, just like the magic does. So that's what we're looking for. And then this room right here is kind of hard to save time on. Alright, wait, get in there, buddy. Or rather, it's kind of hard to lose time because of how long it takes you to get across the room. Alright! Alright! And that is that. We're back to Clive for the rest of the game, and it's not changing anytime soon. Okay, that's annoying. These potions right here are not going to do anything for us, so we're not too worried about grabbing them. If we get them, we get them. If we don't, we don't. Oops. There's a lot of places like this where the cutscene doesn't really trigger until we uh, camera change, so it's something to be mindful of. Okay, that was nice. That normally doesn't happen where you can like line them both up with the same wing. I'm fine. Uh, by wing, I Joshua mean that I'm about. wing move that I'm doing. Back. It's actually called Rising Phoenix. It's a really strong single targeting move uh, and takes about 20 seconds to recharge. Um, that is our baseline. It's the one of the fastest recharging moves in the game. I thought I hit it at the right time, so I didn't mash. May I have this dance? He's an imperial for good. And you are the shield who was blessed by the phoenix. Not that it will save you. Oh, that's super annoying. What? Stay still, damn you. <laughs> oh, dude. What the heck? What is going on right now? Stop embarrassing me, dude, in front of my friends. Yeah, this run is a blight to humanity. Hey, Z-Wing, how's it going? I can't believe I let him get two jumps off. That's... We're gonna lose time here. This fight's already really, really bad. Teeth extraction? Oh, that sounds like a blast. You're going to regret that, boy. 
What am I? Ugh. Oh. Gosh, that hit half stagger. Don't let the splits fool you. We definitely lost time there compared to like a good run. A lot of the fights were super good though. But uh, random enemy encounters really don't save as much time as bad boss fights like that. A phase two was pretty solid. Phase one was an absolute joke. All right, so one of the, one of the things they changed was this cutscene has has been extended, so it actually starts here rather than thirty to forty seconds later. So we lose about forty seconds running on the most recent patch. Uh, it will remove some invisible walls in the next area, so we save a little bit of time there, but not that much. Um. The updates are kind of nice in this game. Just easy. Uh, yeah, the, the game is very easy on your first playthrough. Um. Uh, nothing much, nothing much. Just trying to practice some commentary and, uh, get used to doing commentary while running. Actually, I should probably open my, uh, Google Doc here. So, normally, um,. The game wants you to think you can only attack with the triangle button. You can actually attack with both triangle and square. The, yeah, the, the crafting system is very tightly wound and doesn't have a lot of room for experimentation or, like, uh, finding cool recipes that are off the beaten path. Um, but you can just hold down either of the buttons, the square or the triangle, and Phoenix will auto-fire here. And you can supplement that by mashing the other button that you're not holding down uh, to increase the damage here. In story, uh, it's not super, super duper important. You really only have to mash the final phase uh, because you do have a HP threshold at the very end uh, that you're trying to reach as soon as possible. Obviously, you want to kill. So, one of the things you want to do is is get the HP as low as possible for the very last phase so it's really, really quick. Or as quick as it can be. We're going to do the cinematic evasion here just because the cutscene's a little bit shorter if we do this right. We're going to be missing the next one on purpose. Uh, most of these do do damage to Ifrit, but in story we really don't need to worry about that. As long as you're somewhat, you know, cognizant of where Ifrit's going to land. Um, and you're you know, holding down and, like, mashing lightly, you'll do more than enough damage. Because there's a lot of HP locks in this fight. You'll notice if you start seeing, like, just a white bar that's does not really big at all or not getting bigger, that means the HP is locked, which, like, I think we're getting there. Yeah. HP is locked right now, so it doesn't matter how much damage I do. It unlocks every once in a while progressively, but... One of the other things, too, is we actually deal damage if we hit a precision dodge. We're going to hit square to miss this on purpose immediately. Because it'll be faster than watching the whole cutscene. We'll take a little bit of damage here, but it's really not that big of a deal. But the game is a lot better balanced on Final Fantasy mode, in my opinion. And if anything, Final Fantasy mode's a lot funner because you start with all your icons. So the game's a bit more challenging, and you have a little bit more freedom of uh, expression. But that's the unfortunate part with like the way they're designing the Final Fantasy games now, that a lot of them are better on New Game Plus Hard. Uh, and it would they wouldn't die to having a hard mode for casual uh, gameplay. Uh, like, even Rebirth says it has a, like, difficult mode, like, dynamic, but what I found out is dynamic only increases, like, stats and stuff on the enemy if you're five levels over the recommended level. So it basically just, like, a, it does a little bit of adjustment if you're over level. So dynamic actually changes nothing in Rebirth unless you're doing all the side quests. I do like the idea of New Game Plus difficult modes. I just wish, like, the standard playthrough had a harder difficulty setting. And I do agree that I, it should be a thing. Because th there's nothing that stops him from making a New Game Plus hard that's balanced specifically for New Game Plus. And a more difficult mode for the uh, first 
or the second or third playthrough. This game really keeps you on level and, like, keeps you set up with specific weapons to the point where, um, it's really hard to be, quote-unquote, underleveled or underpowered at any point. Also, you'll notice my fire has, like, massively increased here. It's because of the, uh, awakening from the previous cutscene. It, uh, massively increases the amount of fireballs you can output. So this is why I was talking about, like, you don't really need to worry too much. This is the only phase you really want to mash in. Because you want to make sure you're at that, the HP bar is lined up with F on fire. Which means I can just mash through this real quick and end the fight ASAP. Econ of four. I tend to uh, change my grip out when I'm mashing. It's something I picked up when I was doing Mega Man X3. Uh, the Mega Man X games require good mashing, but the problem is, is like, doing it correctly while still having full your hand on the controller the way where you can control is very difficult. But mashing properly is also very important. Not for the speed of it, but so that you don't injure your arm or wrist. Yeah, I think I just split early. It really wasn't gold. It's hard to, like, gold here. It, it might have been a gold, because I, I did all my cutscene skips properly. But, uh, it's more... We're more or less breaking even on that split. The saving time on an Icon fight is not something I'm gonna do normally. So, things are gonna change here real fast. Um, this area is gonna give us strength potions for free. It'll be one of the few areas that's like that. Uh, also, we have access to our DLC menu. So I'm gonna be able to get some pretty powerful items pretty easily. Nice! Perfect. Uh, if you do the Phoenix Shift, like, the way I was doing it, and land on the ground, you'll get a... Right there! That's what I'm talking about. You'll get a very long ending lag and not be able to move. But because I angled that one just the right way, I slipped onto the ledge without getting the ending lag. It's not easy to do. The one that I messed up was <laughs> laughably easy, so... <laughs> I gotta, I, all I can do is laugh. This area used to have a, a, just a nuisance amount of uh, invisible walls. So, this area really was annoying before in the past. Okay. Should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Should be able to do this one. We're gonna jump over. Uh, you can get any DLC weapon. Uh, this time I think we'll just go with Brave Blade. Yep. Uh, upgrade. Normally I go with Buster Sword, but today I feel like doing the Brave Blade, so it's a bit easier to gauge my um, distance. The Buster Sword is a really weird one where um, any of the DLC weapons are viable. But the problem is, is that the uh, Buster Sword is longer, so it's really hard to gauge the distance on it. Avis, care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. White, you focus on the target. Understood. What? Oh, that's an interesting choice. Uh, I think that's gonna lose me time. Okay, I definitely need to get the Cyclone reset then. Uh, is that a problem for later? Okay. No, dude! Ah! It's because Heat Wave pushes you back! <laughs> oh my gosh. It's over. I forgot. <laughs> I forgore. <laughs> I'm not supposed to have Heat Wave here. I'm supposed to have Phoenix Wing. Uh. Well. What is wrong with you, Wyvern? Dominant. I know. Oh my god. Fine, dude. No, Look around you! <laughs> Actually... 
I have a good idea. Now that's done. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head. This so is definitely not this. correct, but I have a really interesting idea here. I, do, do, I can't. Do, 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 do. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return empty handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. For nothing. No one. And I will not fall, but That's unfortunate. Yep, that's time lost. <laughs> uh, I guess you could make that work. Hmm. Yeah, you're supposed to use Phoenix Wing here. If I had actually known I had Heat Wave, I would have done that first phase a little bit different. And I'm not gonna act like, uh, I didn't change it myself. I did. I just wasn't paying attention. And I looped in a different menu, because I always keep... Every time you're in the menu where you change skills, like 90% of the time, 99% of the time, you are changing which skills you have equipped. And I accidentally rolled it into that additional menu at the start. That could have worked out just fine, though, because... Um, I won't be able to use, I wouldn't be able to use Heat Wave on Jill's abilities, but Jill takes long enough that they would cool down, so I could probably roll that into the initial menu. I just need to account for, like, getting pushed back from Heat Wave. So I, I could have changed the way that that fight went. And I think the bonus Heat Wave might be better for Tiamat. Because you just Cyclone the first attack, he'll always uh, jump back and start shooting magic at you, which means you get the Heat Wave, uh, the bonus Heat Wave damage and cooldown. And then you have both for his, uh, for him being on the ground. I, the, but the thing is, I don't think doing the menu early is really going to save you that much time. We have to forge a new belt here. Uh, we will be able to upgrade our defense once for free throughout the course of the game. I suppose I should think uh, we'll be changing our outfit and getting an upgrade there. But uh, that's not necessarily what the hell have I got myself us. Here? Well, it's not a big deal. But, um, the one looking yeah. After Jill. Uh, I will be upgrading my defense three times, personally. There's one place where we can get a upgraded wristlet that will pretty much carry us to the end of the game. It'll only be like 10 defense off of the final armor. And then I'll upgrade my belt at the very end of the game. Like an hour or two hours to the end of the game. Just because things start hitting really, 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 really hard. Uh, we could buy some strength tonics here if we wanted to. But because we're on the DLC weapons, we're 85 strength above uh, the weapon we're supposed to have here. So we're basically double our stat. So we're in a really good spot right now. Uh, yep. So that's the one of two times we're gonna go to the Arete Stone. I could skip going to the Arete Stone again later. But, um, it doesn't really matter too much. I do have a couple of choices here. This is when I'm supposed to switch over to Heat Wave. Because if you, if you were paying attention, you may have noticed that it reaches out and, like, hits enemies at a distance. That's why I kind of fiddled around in that middle fight to take advantage of it. Get a twofer on it. Though, those enemies are so easy to take down, it's not really worth it to do that. But what we are going to do here is actually load the autosave. This game autosaves a, quite a lot, and it's very beneficial for us as long as we're using it wisely. 
Um, a lot of the auto saves are after uh, we enter a dungeon, specific uh, quest points, or with. Um, Okay, I don't know how you survived that, but whatever. Uh-huh. Alright. Okay. Get up, boy. Sick of toggle. Ugh! Charging magic. Maybe it would be faster to just run it out. I don't know. About to find out if I mess this up or not. Fine this here. Stay out of it. Remember when I said to the deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs are things about it. Anyway, nope. That's not what I wanted. All right. So the first rum can only go so fast because you need to start this next one with Cyclone. So you got about 30 seconds between rooms. Uh, if the first room goes perfectly, and the Cyclone one-shots everything, and then the Heat Wave one-shots everything, I could just do a load save there. Because there's a quick save after um, you fight with the uh, enemies in that room. So one thing you may notice is Torgal is getting precision six here. If I hit Torgal's sick or ravage command as I'm earning a star, uh, so basically whenever I end a combo, which an aerial combo is three hits, uh, a grounded combo is four, uh, or I'm you I'm finishing up hitting with a special ability from icons. I get a precision uh, bonus, which massively increases the amount of damage that Torgal deals. Okay, one more. Nice. Thank you, Torgal. So this pop up is supposed to appear on the other side, <laughs> but I get out of that room bef well before because I already know where I want to go and how to get there. Well, that's annoying. Okay, that's super annoying. Okay, that is my fault, and I know what I did wrong there. What I did was inadvertently point the camera the wrong direction. I wanted the enemies to spawn where I was looking, but looking that direction prevented the enemies from spawning in that area. So I, I did that to myself. I know exactly what I did wrong, and then I realized it. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, I'm dumb, that's what's happening. Oops. This should take two. So much for your shorts. What? Still shorts. Ah, uh, yep, this is gonna be a problem. Gag, nab it! What? I just. Oh, it's because I'm so close to the wall. Well, that's a cool way to lose time. You're supposed to stop Spin Cycle from happening. And in worst case scenario, when Spin Cycle does happen, if you hit him with the charged blade as he's rolling through you, you can stop him like I did on the second loop. I think I was so close to the wall, uh, the game read the uh, armadillo as grounded or on the wall, so I don't think I could 
cancel it with the uh, Burning Blade parry anymore, unfortunately. Oof. That fight, it can be very annoying. What you're trying to do is... Seriously? Oh, come on. You could not have been more annoying about that game. Ugh. We may have overwhelming power, but if we don't execute properly, fights are just going to go poorly. And unfortunately, we're hitting some very minor misses, which end up being pretty major in the long haul. That's going to be annoying. No, we're fine. We'll walk it out just to make sure my cyclone's charged. Why did I do it that way again? Oh no. Keep your distance, boy. I have played very poorly in this entire area, and it's very tempting to reset. What you're supposed to do is tank a hit on the first one, counter with Cyclone, and then follow up with Wing once he hits Half Stagger. But instead, I decided to just hit buttons. So we're losing a lot of time here. Very bad. I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on today. Honestly, it's bad enough for me to want to reset a seven-hour run, so if that's any indicator. You guys go. Unfortunately, even if we kill here, we still have to wait. So all of this fight is managing the stagger to make sure you get the staggers as soon as possible. For some reason, I'm like overthinking things, so I'm being too aggressive. Just mash, dude. God, oh, my mash is so bad right now. Ugh. That was just horrific. That's a lie, because this is against averages. Um, and I guess I just averagely have bad uh, Great Woods. <sighs> well. At this point, now it's going to be more of a DPS race than stagger management. So, um, for better or worse, it is what it is. Uh, what? No. Magimite. Uh, upgrade Cyclone. Man, I've been doing the early game a ton recently. I've, I've had, I killed like two runs over the last two days. And somehow I'm getting worse. I'm regressing. What is even happening? What is even happening? I could have upgraded Cyclone before the boss if I wanted to unlearn Heat Wave, but... I want to use Heat Wave in the next dungeon, so that's not a good idea. Okay, that's going to be kind of annoying. Get out of my face. Give them all you've got, Paul. More will losers. 
Okay. Why? What is it they want? You're welcome to us. So they should be using Phoenix. No! I'm like, ooh. Oh man, this movement's killing me. I don't even know what he looks like. You really don't need to kill those enemies. I killed them to smooth out my AP. There is a bit of a tight AP route early on, and killing those uh, enemies usually smooths it out. Fortunately. To the church then. All right, I gotta be careful here. If I keep mashing X to get good movement, I'll probably talk to Sid there, which will make me walk, and I won't be able to move uh, efficiently at all, so I'm gonna avoid that. All right. We have a burb here we need to fight. Uh, I want to make sure I get hit before my cyclones. I've been doing it up till now, getting hit before using it in some cases, so that the recharge gets a massive cooldown. I'll cover that in a second. What is that thing? This that one is up. not something I can tank. Don't let them get away. That, however, I can. You better be on your way, Sid. That was decent enough. So, Chirade has a bunch of different attacks. Uh, it's a 50-50 on whichever ones you get. Or, well, it's not really a 50-50. I think it's like five different attacks, six different attacks. Uh, about half of them I can get hit by without getting knocked off my feet. And the other half will ground me. So it'll put me on my back on the ground. Um, with Cyclone, if you're hit by a move that you don't get knocked over by, you can respond with the, uh, Cyclone move right after, and it'll get a bonus effect of a cooldown reduction. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, Phoenix Wing, single target, 20 second cooldown, pretty nice move. It's pretty much your borderline, uh, of where your cooldowns are gonna start, and then it goes up from there. There are a few, uh, cooldowns that are a little bit longer. Um, or a little bit shorter, but only under certain conditions. Uh, Cyclone, if you're hit before, the game says you get a 33% a uh, cooldown reduction. It says, like, by 33%. That's actually wrong. It reduces the cooldown to 33%. So it goes from a 30-second cooldown, uh, which, you know, with 33%, it would put it at, like, 22 or something like that, uh, to 11 or 12, something like that instead. It's a pretty massive speed boot, uh, refill bonus. Especially if you're comparing it against the, um, the 20 seconds from Wing. The problem is, is that needs to be set up in a way where you're going to get hit consistently, which isn't easy. Heat Wave has a similar gimmick. If you block a projectile with it, uh, it'll get a massive cooldown reduction. It's even more important for Heat Wave, though, because if you do that, you'll get a, um, not only the cooldown reduction, but it'll massively increase the DPS on it, which is what I used earlier with Tiamat. Normally, uh, Tiamat will, like, always use those projectiles, so that fight's pretty consistent. Unfortunately, you can't use it for Jill, because she doesn't really consistently use ice projectiles. It's usually just the, uh, ground icicles. Uh, you may notice as well that I'm bonking into NPCs here. There's a... You may notice, like, Clive changes his, um... Movement pattern. And he does a set animation when you bonk off an NPC, which is just a little bit of time. And if you can do it without going too far out of your way, it's worth it. But, um... Yeah, we also got a Badge of Might earlier, which we'll actually have equipped for the whole game, unironically. Uh, the Badge of Might gives us 7 strength. There is an upgraded one we can grab later. Uh, that would give us, I think, 
13 or something. Because it's not a full 7 point increase. Um, but that takes like a 3 minute side quest, so we're not going to bother with that one. Okay. I could kill the enemies here if I really wanted to as well. That'd be another thing. That probably is a better place to do it anyway, because the enemies are more tightly uh, grouped. So you may notice I'm not Phoenix shifting here. It's because we have a very high uh, slope. So there's no way to Phoenix shift up it without getting caught on the edge. But um, that's annoying and why I dislike this. But, uh, yeah, if there's an enemy behind me, the Phoenix Shift is going to target the enemies behind me, so our best movement at this point, all of them are sealed, thrusting, Phoenix Shifting, or anything else. The game's going to take us that direction, so we basically can only do the dodge move over and over again, which luckily we can at least chain that while we're in combat. So it's not a awful movement tech. But yeah, normally when it gives us an end lag if we use it without jumping, but while we're in combat, we can just spam it, fortunately. Okay, now we're into the dungeon. Actually, that's not true. Um, so we're going to head into Sierra Norvente here. Uh, I'm going to do something that's going to look really weird. I'm actually going to mash Phoenix Shift as I enter this dungeon. The reason I'm going to do that is because it'll glitch out the movement in the basement so that I'll actually be able to do jumping, jump and do air dashes and stuff the whole time. You can do this with like dashes, but it's a pain in the butt and I can't get it consistently. So I just take the L on the uh, Phoenix shift. That's a nice trick. I'm not sure if I have to slash cancel it. But yeah, this movement you normally can't do. I'd have to walk all the way up this area very slowly. And uh, you'll be able to see the speed in a second here, because there's another area that's a little bit smaller that I can also do the movement on as well. I could do the same thing on. So we're going to have to hold uh, a feet of strength three different times here, so I get a little break to refill my water with my water bottle. So I have one cup with ice and one with a giant jug of water. One more to go. Lost a little bit of time there. Because I didn't do the first one right. So this next room we're going to try and clean up with just both of our skills. Like I said before, we're up 85 points over our normal weapon. So, so this is the speed I was talking about. Uh, it's really hampered. Did you hear that? So... One of my biggest sins is dashing after finishing those enemies because I want to cancel the end lag of the animation like you can in Remake uh, or Rebirth. Let's swap that out. But uh, that's not how it works here. So yeah, we're using Brave Blade. I tend to use Buster Sword 99% of the time. I just felt like putting the Brave Blade on so I could get a better uh, distance or a better gap a visual indicator of the distance because the buster sword is super long in this game uh but not all of it actually has a hitbox so it's a bit obnoxious because of that damn it okay you guys wanna okay fine oh that's super mega annoying uh, yeah, we'll just do this. Okay, we're just gonna load here. Normally, you have to get that cooldown reduction. I was hoping the Cyclone would hit everything, but it didn't. It would have been faster if I'd gotten it to work that way. Oh, wrong direction. That's unfortunate. Took a gamble and it didn't pay off. I need both of my skills to speed through this fight as efficiently as possible, so... Oh, 
Actually, I shouldn't be waiting for that. Okay. I do want to switch back to Heat Wave for the next room, but uh, I need to pick up this accessory first. This is one of the only chests you'd bother grabbing normally. Uh, do this, there we go. Cy that Cyclone accessory is going to be on for a very long time. It'll be nice for the early game, because it's going to buff Cyclone an extra 10%. So it's going to make dealing with enemies a lot easier. You'll notice some of the invisible walls here. Uh, it does get a little bit annoying, but... I want to drag these enemies to the other side of the room, so I'm trying to get them to follow me as quickly as possible. Alright. What do we have here? Oh, that's a very annoying layout. Okay, actually that wasn't too bad. Okay, want to switch back to Cy uh, Phoenix Wing for this guy. And we want to make sure to take that hit again so that we don't have to load and we can just run into this fight while Cyclone's already recharging for us. Well said. Oh, that's annoying. I delayed doing the Cyclone there a little bit so that both of them would be together and I could hit both of them with it. It doesn't do a, like, massive amount of damage, but it will speed up the fight a little bit waiting. Ideally, both of them will group up almost immediately. Sometimes the green one doesn't play ball, though, unfortunately. This is going to be long. She doesn't look happy, Toko. Come on. What? Normally, I would just raw dog the cyclone here, but. That's very awkward. Green doesn't normally get up, get back up. That's pretty decent overall. Um, having to load is what lost me time. Because it does take a little bit of time to load. It's kind of awkward, too. Because, like, I need to, like... I probably should, um... What, the time, how long it takes to load on average, and then figure out, like, is it faster to uh, reset cooldown or not, right? Or just wait for it, rather. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, so yeah, like I said earlier, you can climb, uh, you can chain lunge with, uh, young Clive. Okay, that's just me being bad. If you're not sure that the Phoenix Shift won't land on the ground, you should always be doing air dashes instead of Phoenix Shifts. Uh, but that requires you not to be a big dumbass like me. But yeah, basically this entire dungeon is... Waiting for the enemy to hit you first so you can get the Cyclone cooldown to let you go from room to room as quickly as possible. Uh, let's do this. I know this seems weird, but it's... Okay. Okay, good. Torgal got the last one. Right. I believe the next room I need uh, Phoenix Wing, but I'm gonna wait a second here till I can. Yep. All right. So the shortcuts, unfortunately, we're not gonna get to use too much. This is basically the only area that we get access to it, and it's 
not a waste of time. I stopped attacking there on purpose to make sure that I didn't accidentally um, stop him from using Katon, which means I wouldn't be able to do this. Okay. I have missed so many Phoenix shifts. I am very sad. We're going to be changing our setup here shortly, but for now, we got one last Phoenix wing. And then... Okay, that's my fault. All right, uh, this. Downgrade. Cyclone's very good, but we have a very easy setup for this boss if we use upgraded heat waves, so we're gonna go that route instead. Luckily, there's a lot of long cutscenes in boss fights, so I can take a break during that. Ooh, that's, uh, scuff. So one thing you're going to notice here is Benedict is going to go down real quick. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of chill out here. So if you're close to Benedicta, she'll do a scream attack and push you back. That's why I backed up so that she just immediately went to the lunge to trigger the next phase. Uh, from here on out, we need as much damage as possible, so we really don't care if she pushes us away or not. We just want to keep wailing on her until our HP is fully depleted. Unfortunately, we're going to lose Torgal here. So for the next two phases, uh, we're not going to really focus on Torgal attacks, just on combos. Uh, I did mention it earlier. There's the most high damaging uh, stuff in this is uh, doing magic burst attacks, which is attack, magic, attack, magic, attack, magic. Uh, the timing for that is really hard, and almost so no, almost nobody does it. Uh, the second best way, which is just a little bit behind, is aerial combos. So that's what we've been doing, and we'll keep doing that. Jump, three hit, slash, slash on the way down, rinse, repeat. All right, perfect. All right, so normally you'd want to get hit before Cyclone so it recharges. In this specific instance, Stomp will put us on our back so we can't use that ability. So we just use the super armor from Cyclone to tank that slam to get her to almost stagger, to half stagger. We need to make sure she stays where she is, though, and not push it any further until Heat Wave, so that that way we actually get the stagger. If we try to stagger her normally, she'll do an aerial rain attack where she flies around the arena spitting uh, Aerora, which is very slow. So from here, we're just going to be trying to pile on enough damage. One of the things you need to be careful about is if you're charging magic or blade, you can't use your skills. Because your skill is R2 to open up that, uh, that menu and then hit square or triangle. Um, so charged magic is something you have to be very careful with. Ideally, like, always charging it is a benefit. If you could use the accessory that auto-charged magic without losing an accessory slot to it, it would be decent. But, uh, we're not gonna be doing that. Because we want either damage or more experience points. 
We're, we'll be buying a accessory later that's going to increase our AP building uh, from normal encounters by 20%, and it's a massive benefit because it allows us to buy a lot of abilities we have no business buying to make our lives just a lot easier. Nice ravages, by the way. Pretty good, Benedicta. <clears throat> Was not a bad dungeon either. <clears throat> so we are going to be um, getting rid of Heat Wave here. It was a nice uh, tech when we only had a few abilities uh, to reach out and touch somebody, but now we have two icons and that we need it for upgrading things, uh, upgrading multiple abilities. So we're going to get rid of Heat Wave here, upgrade Phoenix Wing, Cyclone, and learn a new ability, actually, uh, Rook's Gambit, uh, as well as we also have access to Gouge and Wicked Wheel. Uh, which are pretty good overall, but um, not going to be... That's annoying. I'm bad. Uh, yeah. The other interesting thing is the game starts you on Garuda there, which is really awkward. Um, but yeah, Garuda's uh, our second icon. Its focus is more on staggering enemies than it is about doing damage. Uh, Wicked Wheel is really good at that. Gouge is very slow, not good for a speedrun, but casually it's pretty decent. Rook's Gambit, however, is a high-risk, high-reward, um, where you notice right there that... Okay. You'll notice that the time slowed there, and then I did like what seemed like a special move. Rook's Gambit is intended to be a counter move, uh, much like Heat Wave or the Cyclone cooldown. Rook's Gambit, however, needs to be used slightly before you're hit by an attack. And because of that, the timing is different for almost everything in the game. And not a lot of enemies have set patterns that are super easy to set that up on. For bosses, it's pretty straightforward. But for um, enemies, not so much. Uh, but considering we have very low AP right now, and so we don't really have a... Oops, I should have known better than to do that. We don't have a lot of choices, so it's the best choice. If it, between Rook's Gambit and Garuda, or not Garuda, but um, Gouge, Rook's Gambit comes out on top every single time. Even if we miss Rook's Gambits, which we don't want to, uh, it's just better than Gouge. Because Gouge does so little damage, and it's a move that's like um, set up to be multi-hit. It just does a lot, a little bit of damage, a little bit of stagger, very, well, a lot of stagger damage, but very slow. And since we want to kill things ASAP, uh, Gouge's, or Rook's Gambit's the way to go. Every icon has three abilities, and uh, what a lot of people refer to as alts. So technically they have four abilities and their iconic feat. The iconic feat for Phoenix has been the Phoenix Shift that we've been using the entire game, where it gives us that little warp ability. Uh, Garuda has a really nice one, uh, where it's Garuda's Claw or something like that. It'll actually grab enemies. Uh, the Phoenix Shift can be upgraded to go a little bit faster and further, but it's not worth it. So we don't upgrade it. Garuda's Claw can be upgraded to go a little bit further, but, uh, we really can't afford it. There are some places where having that additional range would be nice. But to be honest, if you're grabbing enemies farther away with Garuda... It's going to take them longer to come back, and it means you're kind of boned anyway. Because you won't be able to get into your attack quick enough. So we don't do that. Um, Heat Wave was the third ability for Phoenix. And all of the third tertiary abilities you have to buy for 120 AP. Um, a lot of them are very strong, though. Heat Wave's strong if you know how to set it up. 
uh, or you have a boss that uses a lot of ranged attacks. Uh, Rook's Gambit's very strong if you can hit the counters on it, because not only do the counters do more damage both physically and stagger, but it massively reduces the cooldown. Uh, but that means it's a feast or famine move. Uh, the next icon, same thing, has Lightning Rod, which I'll talk about when we get there, but it's hecka worth the 120k, or 120 AP uh, to pick up. A lot of the mid-tier abilities actually are very strong. The ultimates I'll go over a bit later once we buy one uh, in a little bit. So Rook's Gambit here, um, the main fight is we need to land a, a, a Rook's Gambit on one of the attacks that Garuda's going to use to speed things up. Alright. Now we're looking for the counter here, so I want to get in the right spot. Oh, that's bad. Uh, this is the easier one to counter, which is the one I should have been aiming for. Why are you like this game? Who hurt you? Oh, man. Please push the phase. Okay. Well, we're going to lose time here no matter what. The Rook's Gambit uh, will let you push the phase immediately. Normally, your follow-up should be uh, Wing. But it whiffed because the game and its infinite wisdom decided locking onto the head is the best way to do this fight. Because um, the head is its like weak point, so Garuda takes like 10% more damage, I think. Or something like that. Uh, we're really not too worried about damage here. I'm just making sure it staggers all the way down. And plinking out uh, regular attacks because I can. No matter what we do here, Garuda's going to um, be at 0 HP. To end the fight. So we're just going to make sure that's the case. Oh, always feels bad to lose time to this. Whew. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about with Rook's Gambit being Feast or Famine. Because if I had timed the Rook... What am I doing? This isn't a mash thing. Not yet, anyway. Uh, Timing Rook's Gambit is very beneficial. But it's very hard to do consistently. I don't know why I'm acting like that's a mash as well. Please send help. My brain is broken, apparently. All right, now we mash. Fun fact, these mashing segments do not have a time. Uh, so you can mash them as slowly as you want. You do not need to mash hard here. Very bad, Garuda. But it is what it is. The one downside to taking those earlier kills is sometimes my EXP curve gets messed up a bit, and I level up in this fight once. Um, actually, I think I level up here, and then I level up in the Icon fight as well. Which I'm not sure how much time that loses, because it's... It's very frequent, like, the way it's set up in such a way that it's very hard to avoid level-ups. Because you're basically hard-coded to do X amount of fights. And there's just so many fights you can't skip that your level might as well be on a, you know, predetermined path or something like that. Okay. One, two, three. One, two... Okay. That's going to be a bit of a problem. That limited the amount of damage I got in that phase. In a very obnoxious way. I want to wait to attack here. 
or else um, uh, I'll pro Garuda instead of just doing a follow-up combo. El Terrible! Aerial Blast here is set in stone, so we're just gonna... ...tank it. Garuda's just being obnoxious right now. Cool boss fight, bruh. Uh, I always... I You need to throw on that last one, and I always forget. Because Garuda, when Garuda gets to a certain point, I believe she just tries to jump away. And then you get stuck in that position where you're like, okay, you're literally one hit away from moving to the next phase. Could you stop being a pain in my butt? And the game goes, no. I refuse. I refuse. Refuse. and closer to being done with Rook's Gambit, which is the most important part of the game to me. Once we're finally off Rook's Gambit as an ability, I'm in a much uh, better place in my head, honestly. Doesn't it look this look fun? I forgot that this is like a triple mash segment. <sighs> Thanks. That's all from Garuda jumping away and refusing to get hit by a single fireball. This whole fight is like basically a tutorial. Though it's not as heavily scripted as one, so... It gets very annoying because you have so few options outside of just stun-locking Garuda. And then, like, as you saw at the end there, like, the game... Uh, does not let you do that <laughs> as much as you would think. So, um, I've been mentioning that we have a DLC weapon a few different times here. 
this is the point where we kind of uh, starts falling off. Its attack power and, and will damage is 160, which for some reason every weapon has two different numbers. And there's like, I think, two or three weapons that actually interact with that. The fact that it has two different stats. Um, we won't be using any of them. I believe it's the Enhancer, the Tonberry Knife from the DLC, and then there's one other one. Uh, maybe Runeblade, I think. Um, that have different stats between the two. Uh, but that Wind Shard that we got from Garuda there actually allows us access to an upgraded weapon that is 130 instead of 160. So we're not overpow as overpowered as we were before. Uh, we're going to start falling off a bit here. So we're going to have to uh, earn our keep, as it were. So now we're going to start using Garuda to pull enemies to us. That's super annoying, but whatever. Luckily, we only need to get rid of most of the enemies here to progress to the next set of enemies. Okay. We do have to deal with a mini boss here, uh, so want to make sure that we have all the tools we can right off the bat. Roar. Uh, so Minotaurs have quite a few different attacks that hit like a truck. I'm very bad at dodging them. We're not going to use our uh, special attack here. We're going to hold on to Rook's Gambit for the uh, counter at the top here. Forget about it, actually. I I did my combos and, and precision uh, ravages well enough that I didn't need to do anything other than just tag him with the uh, Rook's Gambit there. Rook's Gambit takes a long time to cool down if you don't counter with it. I think it's like 23, 25 seconds, something like that. That's the important part is knowing the cooldown rates. So you know what you can fire off and how long it's going to come back. Versus like, uh, well, I need to do a reload here on a save. You know what I mean? Come here. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's funny. Come on. Let me through. Don't let them get away. Oh, that's gonna miss out on a lot of damage. This should kill. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade one of my abilities here. This is part of the reason why I made sure to do a couple extra kills here to make sure I have upgraded Rook's Gambit. Oh, Kidoki. That's actually good. Nice. That worked out good. Uh. 
So one of the cool things is the uh, cooldowns on your move uh, recharges during cutscenes. So even though I fired most of my moves off before we even get to this phase of the fight, the timer is ticking. So most of my moves will be fully cooled down before we even start this phase. It's something that you need to keep in mind throughout the course of the game if you're going to route it or just, you know, learn uh, learn somebody else's route. It's something that you need to be mindful of. Three. What am I doing? What am I doing? That's a good question. I'm just being very silly right now. That actually worked out fantastically. Okay. That barely worked out the way it's supposed to. <laughs> Uh, so, you need to make sure that the worm is dead by a certain point in that fight so that the Knight of the Dying Sun uh, can actually be pushed into Mirage Dive like this. If not, um, the Mirage Drive won't happen and he'll get stuck at like half health. That's not going to work. Luckily, they both got clustered together while I was doing a Rook's Gambit counter. So it milled a lot off of the Worm's HP. That otherwise would have been a very bad fight. So that's pretty good overall. Ugh. So we got a lot to go in between now and the next, like, big thing. So there's not much to talk about. I do have an extra strength potion because I didn't use one on the Dragoon. That's normally why I buy them for that fight. Ideally, I... Oops. You got to remember that a lot of these cutscenes are after a camera change. So you have to be a little bit more relaxed with... Uh, how quickly you try to activate them. Okay. So we're still a bit ahead here uh, with the DLC weapon. We'll be picking up another one here very shortly that's uh, better by just a tiny bit. We're going to be getting that upgrade that I was talking about in terms of, like, armor uh, as well. We're going to go pick up uh, some a new outfit, a new weapon, and it'll come with some upgraded armor. We'll basically be using that for the majority of the game. I'll grab a wristlet in one of the dungeons in a few hours when it comes up. Because it's a unique one that lasts for basically the entire game. I could replace it towards the end game when I'm buying a new belt, but I don't bother. It's just the one thing I need to buy. Because purchasing in this game is super annoying. Uh, since the game makes you hold down the button to purchase. Purchasing stuff in this game is very frustrating. Doing anything in this game takes a lot longer than it has any right to, to be honest, because of stuff like that. never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem to have priority. Wait, stop and give me an hand. There we go. Here we are. Martha's rest. So early on, we don't have a ton of AP, so we can only slowly but surely upgrade our attacks, but we will whenever we can. 
Um, that accessory I was talking about doesn't come in till another few hours, so unfortunately we're going to be chilling uh, and just kind of getting what we get. Unfortunately, uh, town movement is just horrendous, and this is what we're going to have to put up with the entire time. So the bridge is out to where we want to go, so we got to go get the uh, the carpenter to help us out. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I don't care what you Nice. What was that? Came from under the bridge. Come on, there he is. Hold on, we're coming. Stag nabbit, chill. <sighs> so, an unfortunate thing that happens sometimes is the NPCs will knock enemies away. Uh, normally, a wicked wheel into a cyclone will clean that entire fight up. But because Jill decided to poke one of the enemies, uh, I had to go out of my way to kill it. Which is a very frustrating, like, reality of this game, that the uh, NPCs are... In the speedrun, often a deficit, and will inhibit you from cleanly uh, killing all the enemies in the game. All right, so we got a couple of cutscenes I gotta skip here. Sometimes it's faster to just mash X uh, to skip dialogue. There's only one in the game that I've actually I actually know of for sure, and it's very early on. So I'm just gonna skip all the cutscenes. You probably could save little bits of time throughout the course of the game by figuring out which one is like one to two lines of dialogue that you can just mash through faster than you could skip. But uh, that would also remember, um, you know, involve you memorizing where those are to the point where it's just like, mm, nah, I'm good. The children were tested, but a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. For a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through... So I can't Phoenix Shift here or else it'll pull me towards that enemy even though I have no interest in fighting it. So I gotta wait. I'm gonna wait for the dialogue to finish here and then run to the church. I'm gonna go very tight to the water here. Otherwise, I'll start a fight with the bee. There we go. Now we're good. There's the abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Yep. Gang. Okay. We're gonna head over to the uh, church here. Progress the story. Um, basically, we find out how bad it actually is. Uh, using fast. magic yes. does take a toll on your life. Uh, so that's kind of the gimmick of the whole thing is that people that use magic are somewhat rare, but also used as slaves in 99% of daily life just to make other people's lives easier. Uh, the downside to that is it slowly kills them, which is why they have to be slaves because, uh, willingly killing yourself to use magic seems like a very awful idea. So... Luckily, we have the auto turn in, which is a more um, more current thing. They added in, in one of the more recent patches, as well as they did with the shortcut thing that I was using very early on. Uh, those weren't in the initial patches. They were much closer to the PC release. Ah, 
Oh, that's nice. This is what I was talking about where you don't, like, want to talk to NPCs. Because you'll get, uh, stuck into the, uh... Okay, that's my fault. I should have known better than to try and Phoenix shift there. Seriously? So we're gonna have to head up the hill here anyway, so... That must be Eastpool. We're gonna get the uh, running going here to speed things up a little bit. So many enemies and stuff, it's just easier to for, to do better movement this way. I remember coming here with Lord when I was young. Okay. So the last uh, should be right about here. I'm like two off. One yard off. All right, so we got a little bit of an upgrade here. This is the armor I was talking about. Uh, since it's rare, it has a nice bump in defense here and will last us a while. Uh, I need to double check to make sure I have my strength potions. Pretty sure I bought some, but I got to check it when I get to the hill. I'm going to be doing a fight here in a second anyway. Luckily, that vendor that I passed does sell strength potions. So if I did forget to pick up some at Shiron, I can grab one there. I need both of them. I want one for the boss, and I want one for the mini boss. Make my life a little bit easier. You're not so very I could burn them both on the boss, but it's just going to be better to put one into the uh, mini boss. Let's go and meet that bearer. So it takes a while to chew through the HP on the Iron Giant, even if you uh, hit your Rook's Gambits all the time. The reason I said I got to check it in the next area is because in their Infinite Wisdom... Uh, they did not set it up so that you can see your icon, change your icon in town, or see which whether you're on Torgal or on potions. Uh, it in terms of a speed run, or like, I mean just casually, I think it's a really bad design choice. It would be fine if this stuff like would, did not show up naturally, and if you hit the button while you're in town, it would change it, and you could see. But for some reason, it's just not available. It's a very frustrating design. Uh, on finding him. Aspect of the game. Okay, I do have both my strength pots. Okay, we're good. I wasn't 100% certain that I bought them. Alright. We're gonna run up the hill here, make my life a little bit easier. I gotta do the uh, fights here in a particular way. I wanna make sure to clear up these enemies and then keep looking over the hill. Uh, to make sure all the enemies spawn at the throat of the hill. So that I can group them all together and get them with one uh, group attack. A little help. Ugh. Damn it! And that was Torgal knocking him back.
All right, we're gonna be hopping up the hill here like a frigidy frog. The Deadlands are aptly named. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize they were this close. Unfortunately, we can't do dodge or uh, phoenix shift movement here, so it's just a hop, a skip, and a jump away, pretty much. No plants, no animals. So we'll probably lose some time here because both those fights were. I suppose that's one small Both the things that I could really like save time. I lost time, unfortunately. NPCs in this game are absolute trolls. I, I don't really. It wouldn't be so bad if they would consistently kill, but they don't, so... They just end up doing, like, a quarter of an enemy's HP at best, and then move them out of the way of your <laughs> attack that does 150% of their hit points. <laughs> Super frustrating. I can thrust uh, up the hill, but since I can't chain them, it's not worth the effort. Excuse me. I hate, I hate it, man. All right. So we can't do anything but walk here, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So Could just gonna walk. This? Very slowly up the uh, end of the mountain here. And head into the Phoenix Gate. Uh, we were around here earlier in the game. This is going to allow us access to our third icon. Which is a subset of the um, Phoenix icon. It'll give us two additional abilities and a uh, limit. Which is really nice. Uh, both of the abilities it gives, uh, in my opinion, are very good. Willow, the Wikis, uh, spawns fireballs around us and does passive damage. Um, ignition is a very strong move, but uh, it definitely has a high skill expression where it's very good at grabbing enemies and pulling them with you. It's like a cow catcher, but um, if you're not good with it, uh, it can make your life a lot harder. It's unfortunate. Okay, that's not really what I was wanting to do, but I mean, whatever, I guess. Rook's Gambit takes a little bit longer to cool down, but luckily it doesn't matter, because the next room I want to just use a uh, wheel to clear. So using the wrong skill there is just a minor time loss. So I want to make sure that I do all this stuff while I'm in the air. Uh... Otherwise, you have a pretty long animation ending lag off of uh, grabbing with Garuda. So we're going to try and hop in the air and Garuda enemies while I'm slightly off the ground to keep things going at full pace. Uh, this is going to be one of our first skill checks here. We want to Rook's Gambit this guy after the initial attack here. That was a very interesting fight. Let's find out in Having the Rook's Gambit on cooldown reduction is nice, but not necessary here, because I'm not going to be using it anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. This room... I remember. Yeah. 
want to kind of throw everything at that fight. Otherwise, some of the bombs can survive and you end up fiddling around for a very long period of time. And there's really no rooms anytime soon, so making sure the bombs are dead is faster than, you know, letting them survive and annoying you. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hellbent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really right. have taken this path? Lose a little bit of time there because I was moving my notes. But it's whatever. Alright, this guy is way too much fun. Just get the money you've got, boy. Keep your distance, boy. Okay. This goes into the Iron Giant room next. But my cooldowns are all in a good spot, so I'm not. Oh, it's this room. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Cyclone instead here. Cyclone is overkill for those two, but this works out right. This will be better. Wake! Okay. I could have used Rook's Gambit there, but it wouldn't re- Will you stop? Ugh. Eight. Three of my jumps. Very frustrating. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now, because everything's on off cooldown, because I got stuck to the ground for like a half hour. Uh, this... Every time, dude. Uh, so bad. It's over. I I really stink. <laughs> I, I keep getting hit by Rook's Gambit on that rush move, and it's so sad every time it happens. Alright, so Rook's Gambit is supposed to be upgraded before Ifrit, but if my AP is in a good spa good place, I can upgrade right now. Which doesn't do a ton in terms of like speeding up the next few fights, but it does let me know that my AP route is where I want it to be. Uh, and because it's going to stabilize very shortly to the point where there's very little um, that I can actually do to change it up. Get 
decent enough. Now for the hard part. I did practice Ifrit and um, East Pool a little bit yesterday, but uh, we'll see how that ha how that works out. Okay, Wicked Wheel should clear here. Yep. And we're level 20. What have we here? Another fallen wonder. So, luckily, um... Dying is fairly hard to do outside of, like, mini-boss fights. Um, where you don't really have any way to continually heal unless you do it yourself. But a lot of the dungeons have potions and high potions just scattered throughout to the point where your HP is going to very often be full. Right. So, one of the reasons I'm doing Wheel and then Cyclone is neither can kill on its own. Uh, but Wheel will pull enemies together and drop them kind of in a uh, pile in front of you. I could always uh, follow up with uh, Wheel or Wing if I wanted to. Um, it's either or. Cyclone just has a better AoE, so it's more consistent in hitting everything. Now, Shadow Clive is both extremely easy and extremely difficult at the same time. This fight is very much predicated on you hitting your Rook's Gambits and not whiffing them, uh, which means it can be very difficult. We're going to start fighting Ifrit here at the very beginning, uh, and it's kind of hard to screw up the first Rook's Gambit, but then after that, we actually have to get good or whiff over and over again. That should be this guy. Okay, that's my fault. I shouldn't have hesitated. Okay, that's nice. Oof. Plus, I get to end on Garuda, so I don't have to worry about changing at the start here. So, Brook's Gambit is very potent, but missing the input means you go from doing a ton of damage and having it off cooldown within the next, like, five seconds to, like, doing almost no damage and having it off cooldown in, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> so it, it's a huge skill check. Uh, and because of it, I find Ifrit to be one of the harder bosses in the game. Uh, not only because you're limited amount of, like, offensive actions, but... Your offense is directly tied to your ability to hit Rook's Gambit timing. Uh, and this fight had... The timing is all over the place. Like, this one I have to do very, very late. Dude, the charge on that's so bad. Okay, this is gonna go bad. Yeah, this is gonna be a slow fight. I shouldn't have popped that strength tonic there. You're supposed to do it in this phase, so my damage is gonna drop off in a bad at a bad time. Now this one I have to respond to pretty early when he's about halfway across the room. It's 
Excuse me? Yeah, we're getting a stagger here. Ideally, you can get that stagger before the um, pillar goes up, but I missed it. I, and you also want to get a Rook's Gambit counter um, while he's in the pillar. I need to go back to doing my offensive stuff because I'm not I'm not doing that phase right. You need to jump on him while he's done doing pillar you. charges and just uh, do some aerial combos back up. Do some aerial combos back up. Doop 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 doop. That wasn't terribly bad. We hit a lot of our Rook's Gambit counters, so it could have been a lot worse. Unless you do enough damage, you can't avoid the uh, stagger here, which I didn't. The problem is, is that Shadow Clive is so low to the ground, aerial combos are more or less impossible. Oh, this is neat. Okay, I should be charging my battery then. Uh, not impressed with my inability to play. Unfortunate truth about these kind of things is it's really hard to save time or not save time excuse me there's very few uh breaks during 16 most of them come during like icon fights like this and boss fights because of prolonged cutscenes so about every hour you get a break at the end of a boss fight that isn't technically over uh which is super awkward but it is what it is So yeah, that could have gone a little bit better. I just am not playing Shadow Five right. I'm supposed to be hitting him during the fire pillar, but at some point I forgot that's what you're supposed to do. Luckily, everything else around it was pretty solid, so... Ideally, what you're trying to do is get enough damage to push him into the next phase, but I keep forgetting that it's like... I mean, if you want to push him into the next phase, you actually have to hit him. <laughs> Alright, so East Pool is a very interesting fight, and this is something that um, will show off us using Flames of Rebirth here. We'll use this quite a few more times in the near future. Uh, but for now, we're going to have this for just a short period of time. Uh, we're going to get rid of Rook's Gambit here. We could continue using it throughout the course of the game, but because it's such a high skill check and it requires us to wait for enemies to hit us, we're not doing that. It may seem weird that we're depowering everything here, but we have two better moves. Flames of Rebirth is a uh, AoE ultimate move that I was referencing earlier. Uh, that's wrong. 
Aw, uh, that would have been really bad. And then we also have Ignition here. Uh, the three moves that we get from Ifrit uh, overlap with Phoenix, so it's the same thing. I can't help thinking she's safer with Sid too. But uh, Ignition's a really strong move that goes in a linear line. You dash forward at a set speed, which is fast or fastest form of movement in a lot of places. Um, but it also catches enemies and drags them with you and does a ton of damage when used properly. But it can be very frustrating trying to get enemies on it because it can't really turn very tightly. So pulling enemies into it is a bit of a pain. Uh, Flames of Rebirth is just a fat AoE, which we're going to be using uh, shortly for a lot of things. Uh, this is not a cutscene, and you know that. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of enemies here. So basically all we're going to do is wake up all the enemies and try and pull them to the center of this room so that we can finish them up with Flames of Rebirth. Imperials. That's nice. Who would order such a thing? Thought you could escape us, did you, Brandit? You were born a slave, and you'll kill all the ducal dogs! Ducal dogs? They were innocent people! That's annoying. Ugh, grab you. Hmm, we should be fine. Looks like I actually have a decent area this time. That actually worked out very good. <sighs> That's what you're looking for to clear up the whole room like that. And we can actually use the limit to cancel the animation of Flames of Rebirth, but the flames will keep hitting. So it's something we'll be doing a little bit later. But for now, it was we needed the damage bonus out of it. pool cleared let's go so the last couple of runs i've had a very big problem uh actually getting the whole getting all of the enemies grouped in the center so that the uh flames of rebirth consistently kills them so that's why that's gold uh that area can be very frustrating uh enemies can end up getting towards the top gate that we enter in and be out of the range range of flame of rebirth and the reason that that happens is they'll follow jill or torgal uh and start attacking them so i actually went out of my way to attack with torgal to one of the enemies around the middle of the room to uh move him down so that hopefully jill would follow all the way into the center of the village to make sure that they're all kind of clustered around that center portion that we end up in uh, and then I go all the way to the bottom, and I use Ignition to clean up, get Limit, and kill as many of the enemies at the very end of the village, and pull them to the center if they, they aren't already close to dead. Um, that way we can try and get rid of as many uh, extra enemies on the extremes as possible. 
and then follow up with the uh, Flames of Rebirth to clear there. Like I said, I used the limit to cancel the animation of Flames of Rebirth, uh, as well as uh, increase its damage. Limit's a very nice tool that we'll have throughout the course of the run, but it is a uh, t just that, a tool. Um, there's a lot of different uses for Limit, and we do want to use it for different reasons throughout the course of the run. Uh, we got a craft the Storm's Cry here, and then the Flame Tongue. Beating Ifrit gave us the, uh, Flame Elemental Shard, so we can make Flame Tongue, which is about 10 points better than what we had. Um. I'm gonna change my outfit to... So I'm gonna change my outfits, uh... You can change outfits for everybody. There is a free outfit. Uh, for this, we're going to swap out to uh, Burning Black and... Um, excuse me? That's cool that I can open the map during that buffer. You can also change the um, outfit for the weapons to, to a different um, skin if you want. But there's not much of a reason to do as such. Game's gonna tell me to go to Lost Wing here, but that actually is a lot slower. So we're actually gonna go to Dragon's Airy. This will be a lot closer to Northreach. And the movement is a lot easier this way too. I don't have to bother walking through town. So I get full speed the whole time. Uh, so yeah, the limit can be used for a bunch of different reasons. Uh, it gives us super armor on every everything, so we can't be knocked back. Uh, it will increase our damage output, I think, 10%, something like that. Um, it also makes us so we can't die while actively in limit. So that that way we can set it up. Okay, I did not intend to do that, but whatever. But that was north of the checkpoint. All right, all right. Sorry, Gazelle. Some of these enemies are non-aggressive, and you can actually activate a combat by hitting them. The Gazelle has been in that spot like twice now, so... Oops. I'm just intending to ignition up the hill, not start a fight. Because right there, the dialogue uh, stops you from being able to run. Okay. But yeah, we're going to be using Flames of Rebirth for the next two areas, just because we want it for the next, not this next fight, but the fight after. Um, it is nice to have it, uh, but it's not always the best. And it's extremely expensive at like 1600 So, um... Considering that we can upgrade two to three abilities on that much, uh, we could buy an ability and upgrade it, or upgrade about two more abilities. We are not going to keep it early game. We're only going to use it for one or two rooms. Otherwise, uh, we could get away with some pretty heinous stuff if we actually had um, Flames of Rebirth for a long period of time. But right now, it's it, we can clean up the rooms quicker without it. It'll just be quicker in one of the rooms. The and then we'll switch back. Uh, the difference is... The last on the yeah, right upgraded line. wing, cyclone, and wheel is, is just ends up doing a lot more. Uh, but what we're going to do is actually... We're going to upgrade wing and master cyclone. And what that'll allow us to do is equip it on different icons. So we can actually take cyclone and get rid of gouge. Which I was telling you is kind of bad. Uh, for damage and staggering in general. Uh, and we'll actually replace Gouge with uh, Cyclone instead. So that um, Gerudo basically just turn into our enemy killing combination. I also need to make sure to um, cancel the end of my ignition by hitting the jump button. And that will prevent us from doing the final slash, which will take a little bit longer than just canceling it a bit early. 
There are a lot more movement techs throughout the game, like Shiva, uh, Ice Crackle, Phoenix, Shift, Slash. I'll, I'll try and use it a little bit late game, but I'm not super good at the movement. Plus, it's a bit obtuse because I have uh, Bahamut in between the two. But for the most part, there is a lot of movement tech in the game. But unfortunately, in new game, we don't really get to use it at all. Which is probably like the one downside. I, I do like new game because the, the EXP and ability routing is super fun. And I think it's a very interesting way to play the game. Some of the earlier segments are a bit annoying because you don't have power overwhelming and you can't just loop six different abilities. You only have like two or four. But um, versus like just doing it with everything is kind of a bit uh, boring in my opinion. It smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. I can't let them get any closer to the village. So yeah, what I did there is I canceled the uh, Flames of Rebirth immediately. Ideally, you would ignition Wicked Wheel. I should have just grabbed that one wolf that was out of range. Damn it but it is what it is. But... Let me see what my... I need to tell Isabel. That's not super good to not have limit there, but I'm not going to be using it anytime soon, so it's fine. All right, so things are going to be changing here soon. We're actually going to be heading into Drake's Head, uh, which is going to be a big paradigm shift. We're going to be picking up our fourth icon. Uh, third, that actually gives us abilities. So this will be the last point where we're struggling to like loop things very quickly and just plow through enemies super, super fast. Why am I not just going this way? So, ideally, we want to go up this hill here and not stop. Sometimes it's a bit jank, so I'm, I'm not 100% certain. We're going to try and go up this hill right, but the game is going to tell me no, as usual. If you hit the right spot, you can avoid uh, having Clive trip, I guess, there. But it's 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 a really weird thing trying to get up that the side of that hill without catching on it. Ugh. But the big paradigm shift here is at the end of this dungeon we'll finally have our third icon, and not only that, but it's Rama, which is a massive boon. The next two icons have some very strong skills that uh, will change the way that we do a lot of combat. Rama particularly has Thunderstorm and Lightning Rod, which are massive. Lightning Rod more so. Although Lightning Rod is going to add in some massive skill checks, because uh, if you use Lightning Rod properly, you can reset its cooldown early in fights with cutscenes in it, but you have to work really hard to set that up. I'll explain it when we get there. Actually gonna get a little bit of limit here so that when I cancel it's not that big of a deal. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Okay. Unlearn flame, upgrade wing, master cyclone. Four off. Okay, uh, rising cyclone. They never stood a chance. All right, so this is going to be our setup for the next, uh, for the foreseeable future. At this point, we're not going to be upgrading any more of these abilities for a bit. We're going to be saving up to upgrade. That's interesting. Uh, we're going to be. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can just do that normally. 
Yeah, this area takes forever to get through, so it doesn't really matter. You can kind of mess around if you want. We are going to be getting an accessory to increase our ignition damage. And between the three that we have, it's either going to be cy uh, Cyclone, Wing that gets upgraded, or uh, Ignition. And we're going to set for Ignition because it's a 12% increase. It's just way better. Huh? That's not what I wanted. Okay. Get over here, get over here, get over here. That's super annoying, thanks. I was trying to get a counter there, but I missed it. <sighs> Once again, this is going to be a uh, thing where the cooldowns are resetting here, so we're just letting it kind of ride out. Pretty good fight. Um, overall, uh, a lot of what we were trying to do there was leverage our limit to hit the cannoneer as he was attacking and get a parry out of it, which slows down time, which helps with our cooldowns, uh, as well as stun locks the enemy in a position for a short period of time and gives us a small, uh, I think it's like another 10% damage buff. Oh, and it also increases the amount of stagger you're dealing. So if we do that fight correctly, we get a couple of parries and then follow up with attacks during the, that uh, cooldown, or during that little animation, and it just speeds the fight up very, uh, very effectively. Okay, we do it this way. Dang it! That's unfortunate. What? You said you could call her Isabel. Never mind. Sedge. Sticks and ether flood would be it. Those cards at the gate—they weren't there to keep people out. All right, so we're going to head to the back of a cave here because there's a few enemies in the back that we want to get rid of ASAP. I want to do this. Dang it. That's annoying. Fine. Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but all right. All right, uh, we're gonna add this on and then upgrade charged magic. 
We're gonna keep charged magic for the rest of the run. Uh, that will uh, that will in decrease the delay between holding the button and charging a tier two, charging a raw spell. So, uh, up till now, my timing has been kind of funky because it's super annoying to hit it uh, with the lower uh, charge time. So it's been messing with me the whole time, honestly. Okay, there we go. That is not what I was thinking. Right. So one of the important things is we need to make sure that we hold on to our limit for certain portions of the fight. Unfortunately, we really don't have the extra AP to buy an upgraded limit at for most of the run. So it is something that we would very much prefer to have, but we just just can't afford. Uh, having a level uh, just three bars of limit would make our lives a lot easier. Um, but it's not something that's so beneficial that we go out of our way to pick it up. Unfortunately, the first level is a thousand for a level two, uh, level two limit. Uh, and then the final level is an additional 2k. So we very rarely go to a point where we have, uh, all four bars. We'll more often than not only have just the two bars of limit. We'll use it a bit more towards the end game where it's more reasonable, but it is not something that we're going to have the luxury of for a large portion of the game. I could have also picked up an upgrade in that previous area. The chat there was a chest right next to that little gate that actually has the uh, coral whisker in it, but we only use it for like two fights, so we don't bother doing that. Okay, we're just gonna do it this way. Alright. So this next room has a lich in it. I need to use my limit to get some extra damage in, but I gotta be careful with how I do it. So that I um, have my limit back by the time I get to the boss fight. I really only want to use, like, one bar max, because it's going to be hard to recover more than that. I know this seems slow, but this is definitely the fastest way to handle this stuff. Okay, I guess we're doing it that way. And, by the way, that is not correct, so that's annoying. This is close enough. Having one bar of limit is the bare minimum, but like having 95% is fine too. I'll get this off of the uh, count. I'll, I should get off the rest of the limit off the counter hit anyway. All right. Um, wing ignition, then cyclone, then wheel. Okay. Damn it. Okay, that's super, super annoying. I'm very mad right now. This is gonna go 
poorly. Could you? Oh boy. No. No, you don't. Transition. Transition. Please transition, bruh. Oh, thank gosh. That sucks. <sighs> That's my fault. What? Huh? Okay. Hits. Mm. Just die, dude. Ugh. Ugh. That's so frustrating. Most of that time loss came from the fact that I couldn't get immediate dragon drive. Because I missed with wing right off rip. So normally being short on potions would be kind of scary, but it's not really. Um, this next fight is not really that bad. That first phase was pretty rough, but there's not much I can do about it. It's faster to hold on to ignition here for the final stairs, honestly, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna... I wanna make sure ignition gets all the way up here, otherwise this gets really annoying. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Oh yeah, that's right, this is a cutscene. Maybe I should skip it. <laughs> Whoops. So we gotta kind of wait here and chill. Um, I've been here before. We have to deal with a few waves of monsters here, and then I have to like not be bad and deal with uh, the next wave of idiocy. Uh, you again? Where are you? What do you want? Still alive. This boss has some pretty nasty cutscenes, so Oh, what am I thinking? I know better than that. Uh, damn it! Oh, that's not what I wanted. So mad at myself. I needed to, like, use that wing before I grabbed the last one. I should not have done it the way that I did.
Alright, this phase is fine. Isn't yours. This time we are not in a learning scenario. Really clean typing for once. Seriously? <laughs> I I expected the the finisher to like multi hit as it the phase transition as it came out of stagger. But I mistimed my input, so it didn't do anything. He just ended up surviving by like... Okay. Great. I love it. That's great. How many more could there be? That's fine. Alright, let's go. Let's try not to fudge that up so I don't pour water all over myself again. These phases kind of stink, but, uh...
That's great. I really hate missing combo timing because it's not even that hard. Alright, it's time to set things on fire! Typhon could have gone a lot better. Acutus should not have happened. I should get the stagger after Demon Wall. I need to just focus on getting to the other side during Demon Wall and stop worrying about charging the Fyras at this point. Because that's the third or fourth time I've, I've butched it because I was too busy trying to charge Fyra. The problem is, is that, like, your, your dash move stops at a certain point, so you have to, like, stop and start it. And it's kind of hard to get through demon wall properly unless you're like right on top of it and because i keep fiddling around with the fire which it's like it's better off to get to the other side of the wall and be able to just charge fire without being uh held still and miss out on a fire versus bouncing off the wall like that Sit dies here Okay, that's not what I meant. Why do you have one HP, dude? What the heck? Uh, whatever. Titan sent his regards. Kidoki. All right, we're gonna do this the slower way. Enough of this. Let him play with the kitten. They brought a pet. <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. Oh, my God. 
Damn it! Ah! I forgot to do my uh, wing. I did it so late that I got like almost no damage out of it. Ah, that's super annoying. 692. No, I should be fine. I should get 8 from the uh, church. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. That's annoying. All so we have finally hit the point where we got a lot of options. Uh, the cat fight would be a little bit easier if we had access to lightning rod, but unfortunately we do not. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. So right now we're just going to be kind of bouncing back and forth between A, B, C, D to uh, get um, everything started up. This is supposed to be a paradigm shift where now we've taken over the name and mantle of Sid to uh, continue on Sid's actual work of uh, ideally freeing uh, magic users as slaves. Although our methods are very interesting uh we've decided that deleting magic from the universe is the solution which seems weird but apparently magic source uh in this universe comes from the fangs these giant mother crystals that uh absorb the magic from the land they also are usually fractioned off as a uh tool to use magic uh, and it also, for whatever reason, imparts magic use on uh, other humans. Uh, oops. Want to do this. Then this. There we go. Um, the thing is, uh, those crystals take magic from the land, and these deadish areas that you've been seeing that are, like, black and ashen are actually a a symptom of the ma the crystals taking magic from the world. Uh, normally, we would uh, reload the area to be closer to Ototo here, but we're not going to bother just yet. Um, we actually can't reload here. One of the cool things is we get some side quests here. There's actually a really nice side quest that we're not going to be getting, um, but it would increase our... Uh, It would increase our... Okay, I need to get better at movement here. Um, it would allow us to swap out our badge of might for a badge of might plus one. It would give us a, about six more attack. I believe it's not set. It's super weird because it's like one point lower. Hey, that is not what I want to do. Come on. We need to find the others. We are for now. Hello? All right, let's go. So, we have to do a couple of side quests here. We're going to be picking up a new currency, uh, if you even want to call it that, called uh, Renown. That can be used uh, if we turn it in 
uh, at a certain vendor as a third uh, currency, basically. We don't spend it. It's just something that we build up. Uh, but it will allow us to turn in for side quests or with some of the side quests in the area so that we can... Um, hit, once we hit certain levels, we basically can buy gifts or get gifts from people that have heard of our renown, basically. So for the most part, what it's going to do is allow us to get some free stuff. There are a few good things that you can get out of that, uh, out of those side quests. You can get the Genji Glove, which is a flat 5% damage increase uh, in new game, but it would require us to clear almost all of the side quests. Oops. Uh, yeah. We were talking there, so I was never gonna get full speed. I kind of blanked out there for a second. Um... But what we're going to be using it for in the course of this run is... Uh, there's actually a few that give us just a chunk of AP whenever we turn them in. The first one is at 15, and that gives us an extra 400 AP. Uh, we won't be grabbing that immediately as soon as we get 15, because it's just not uh, efficient. But uh, we will be turning it in the next time we're over on that, in that area. Okay, we're at 712. That means our AP is a little bit higher than normal, which is fine. Uh, I need, I want to see at least 700 here. And seeing 712 means that my AP is where it should be. I need a little bit less than 700 to buy what I want to buy here, but that's fine. Unfortunately, like, 712 is not going to make that much of a difference. As long as we're at around 700, I'm going to be able to buy everything I want where I want to buy it. There are some other things I'd like to buy, but I'm not going to be able to. Uh, what we're going to do here, though, is swap out Pile Drive for Lightning Rod. Pile Drives is a decent AoE move that um, Rama gets, but it's very slow to recharge. It's 30 seconds, just like Cyclone. But it doesn't have the gimmick where if you get hit right before you use it, you get the massively cool, uh, the massive cooldown version. Um, and it just, it, it's DPS is not as good as it could be. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, yeah. So Ignition's pretty good for movement. We do like using it when we can. Uh, it's usually best when we're like near enemies so that we can avoid doing a little hop movement. All right, that's going to be the last one. Actually, we're fine. I could use Ignition now, but I'll use it as soon as we start this one up so that I can get decent movement out of the area. Okay. This is one of the hunts in the game. This is a majority of how you get your uh, renown is from clearing hunts. A lot of the hunts, however, uh, are all optional. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be ignoring this guy. There's no reason to bother with the Arrowman here. This is one of the ones the game... A lot of us didn't even realize you could just jet from this fight. So it's a weird one. Okay, so we're going to scatter the ashes here. And turn it in. Uh, wait, nope. Stop it. Ah! I'm trying to turn in the mission, and the game is not having it. There we go. Because the problem is, is the auto turn in takes a while to activate. Uh, you really, you can't, like, buffer it, so you're supposed to wait for the prompt to pop up. The ashes split here really isn't that useful. It's just a thing to make sure I don't forget. I'm going to be honest. I have forgotten to, to go get the ashes before. And I have forgotten to put them in... To drop them off at the water. So, you know. It's, uh, it's a major skill issue. 
We're gonna do the one side quest uh, that's worth it 100% of the time. The uh, This side quest here will get us a chocobo for movement. It used to be initially when we first were routing this that the chocobo was barely faster. And if you had like good movement, you could outpace the chocobo. Since then, there's been some work on chocobo movement. And it turns out that uh, if you break, you can drift and get a temporary speed boost, which helps uh, make the chocobo quicker. Uh, but also, if you spam the attack button, the chocobo goes faster, especially during uh, dialogue that's normally very slow, where you can only walk with a chocobo. Uh, and if you combine those two to kick while you've got that speed bonus, the chocobo is a lot faster. Uh, so, but the problem is, is the kicking will make the chocobo home in on enemies. Although, well, if you kick while there's enemies present, your chocobo will go even faster. So chocobo is a huge uh, skill issue thing. Uh, oops. I want to make sure one of these guys is dead to spawn the next wave. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to do this. Sure that this is on the right thing here. Uh, ignition. Clean fight. Oof. You'd be surprised. These axe guys are actually pretty hard to kill. The like non mini boss mini bosses. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, are very hard to clip. To, to get through at a consistent rate. It kind of even out. Even outs, or evens out between these two. Because the, the way that I split for the ashes is kind of like different every time. I don't, sometimes I split at the lake, sometimes I split at the uh, actual turn in. Other times, excuse me. Oh, that's one thing I got to be very careful about. If I do that, I'll basically turn off all my icons. Uh, so the the shortcuts is good for like new game plus. It's not so great for um, new game runs because we can't like preset that up. What? Oh, dirt. I thought I had to go to the shelves for some reason. I guess it could have been worse. Uh. This allows us to now turn in stuff at the Renown desk. It costs 15. Uh, we need 15 Renown to go purchase or get that 400 AP I was yapping about. Uh, but we don't need to go near those the, the Renown desk right now. And having the extra 400 AP is not really going to be beneficial. So we're going to blow off getting it for now until we come back in a little bit where we're going to be, we need to go right next to the uh, turn in desk. Hey, Amon. Amon, Amon, Amon. Doing all right, doing all right. Runs pretty decent. Could, uh, could cry more. Could cry less. Uh, oops. We want to ignition right off the bat here so that it recharges ASAP. This area is very annoying, so we really can't use Phoenix Shift very much. We just kind of hop down the hill, the hill as it is. It's, a, it's all we got. Got to be careful there, because that enemy will like go outside of range of the uh, Phoenix Shift. All right, we're going to skip, and then I think ah, my my thrust doesn't go nearly as far as I thought it did. Yeah, if we could if we could chain thrusts, it would just be the easiest form of movement in the game. And we'd be good to go. But not so much, I guess. So we're headed over to the Dragoon here. Um, at this point, uh, we're realizing that something weird's going on and people are hunting uh, magic users for some reason. Air combo? Possible in 16? Yeah, air, the aerial combos are the best way to do damage in 16, actually. Well, the easiest way to do damage. 
Uh, this area is super cursed. We have a very tight corridor here. And getting good chocobo movement is just, just the pits. When it's, when it works out right, it's super good. But when the game is being annoying, it is awful. I think we got lucky today. I have an idea. You're not going to like it. This area is really hard to move through efficiently. Especially because uh, sometimes Ambrosia will just 180 and start kicking behind instead of in front. That is top tier. I'm going to be honest, that kind of movement is not very common for me. So I'll take infinite air combo. Yes, as long as there's an enemy. But it takes a lot of setup to do that, right? Oh, that's great. Okay, we're just going to pull everything together here at this point, unfortunately. I missed with my ignition. What? Man, this guy's got a black shield, all right. <laughs> at this point, uh, we're basically on level, so we really don't have massive amounts of DPS. So we're going to kind of have to work for our damage. Uh, but yeah, you can you can grab enemies infinitely in the air. Uh, but in aerial combos are not uh, the most efficient at a certain point. Because enemies will start uh, waking up and getting out of your uh, grabs and stuff. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far... Just gonna hop through town here. Already be in Port Isolde. Uh... Nah, I wouldn't say that. Final Fantasy VII combat is not as um, uh, action-based as Devil May Cry. I'd say 16 is closer to Devil May Cry combat, honestly. Uh, that's one of those weird spots where it's actually faster to do Ambrosia. How much? I don't know. I just follow what every other runner does there. <laughs> but this is their home. We're gonna head on down the hill here. I mean, the same thing is true of 16. You can remove the uh, cooldown as well with mods. 16 is even better without the cooldown. It's pretty cool what you can do. Okay. Uh, so you'll notice that my kicks like go super far and then they start going super slow uh, If you're in combat uh, you and you're doing the boost plus kicks you get what I call hyper kicks That's not necessarily their actual name, but uh, I'm gonna bring this guy with me so I can get to the other end of the room a little bit faster Okay Um, but the speed boost plus kick is the fastest, and it'll allow you to maintain your, um, drift b speed bonus for a lot longer. And if you can trigger a fight, uh, you'll also get a couple of very fast, very far kicks that save quite a bit of time. So... The only downside is what I said earlier. Sometimes Ambrosia will turn around and kick the opposite direction, which is a super big pain in the butt. Straight home now. So, like, getting enemies uh, targeting up can save you time, but it can also bite you in the ass. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. So, a lot of these fights, hopefully we could just clean up with Ignition, but there's no guarantee. Okay. What? I didn't... How did you... Okay. I don't know how he... He must have fell off my ignition at a very weird spot, and I didn't notice it. Hmm. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. That would be an interesting, like, thing, an interesting run. ATB-less 
remake. That would make a that would be a pretty funny meme run. Honestly. Especially if there was like a very hard mode or something. That'd be super interesting. May the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. Alright, so we're gonna ignition right out of the gate here because there's some dialogue. Really doesn't matter much. We're gonna have to wait for this dialogue to finish up anyway. Uh, yep. So, the problem is, is that we need to break and turn at the same time to get that speed bonus out of drifting. Uh, but if you don't do your movement correctly, you'll just break over and over again, which is something I do an unfortunately large amount of time, because I'm bad. Ugh. This next fight is actually very difficult. Uh, we want to keep our lightning rod, and I'll explain it after the fight, since we're kind of already in the thick of it. It's hard to explain how this works. Okay, we need to get over here. Okay, I need to... Alright. Okay. Alright. Come here. What is going on? Okay, what's going on here? How are you still alive? What? All right, whatever. So if I end that phase with a lightning rod still up, the game is going to refund my lightning rod here, and I'll have it fully cooled down and ready to go again. It's something that we need to do a lot throughout the run, and it means we can't destroy it by hitting it too many times, and we can't let it dissipate by being up too long. Super annoying. All right. There's no one left to keep them occupied. We need to finish this. We finish him. All right. We're just going to use ignition to clear these guys out. Easy peasy. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> my Dragoon fight is normally not very good. Uh, luckily I practiced, well not luckily, I mean, I finally broke down and practiced it a bit the other day. Mm. Honestly, like, the more interesting part of, like, Remake, what would be more interesting is having uncapped Materia. To the point where, like, everybody gets first strike and you have skill master and ATB stagger on everybody. I'm kind of glad that they nerfed HP up and MP up to 30%. I wouldn't have minded 50%. Um, and have it only be one, because that was the annoying part, is, like, you kind of wanted to equip two of those so that you had enough. Especially with MP, since it's such a non-renewable resource. Rebirth is kind of interesting with the way that they reworked um, the ATB materia and like hard limited it. But Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Okay, I want to stick to the left there then. All right, so that was a pretty good dragoon fight. We got a dungeon that we're headed into here shortly. The uh, Drake's Fang, uh, Drake's Breath, excuse me. Last run died. Last real run that didn't... Oh, wait. I gotta go buy my AP. That would have been kind of bad if I'd forgotten it. Oops. That can be really bad. It's not a, a deal breaker, but this will uh, make it so I don't have to de-point a uh, wheel, or Phoenix Wing, and then re-point into it. Shit. I'm supposed to warp over here, but whatever, I guess. I already hard committed to the walk at this point. Whatever. So we're going to go in, check out uh, Jill's past here, where she was after the collapse of the kingdom. Uh, and this is where we got her from in the first place. She's actually not our sister, uh, but an adoptive sister that we got from 
this area as a means of like uh how do I put this? Um like solidifying political relationships. Also, this place is hell, so she got lucky. The fact that you didn't use magic up is kind of mind-numbing to me. Magic up is probably the best materia in remake by a large margin. Okay, sure, I guess I'm a noob then for using HP up. Excuse me. They don't guard it anymore. The perfect little ship. They're all okay. We're gonna grab these guys and bring them with us. Gonna use uh Garuda to bring all the enemies together here. Okay, leveling up here means my experience curve is a little bit funky. But that's not surprising considering what my AP was at earlier. Uh, Torgal, Jill, and um, was that an earthquake? Torgal and Jill must have killed quite a few enemies in some of the areas on their own. Alright, so we got another uh, Minotaur here. This is going to be a little bit of an annoyance. Especially because of the dogs in the area. Okay, I might be able to get away with this, actually. Oh, that's super annoying. Uh, that's weird. Should have just thrusted him up the hill now that I'm thinking about it. Well, it is what it is. All right, Dingus, don't soft lock on me this time. How's that sound? All right, let's go. My lightning rod's a little bit scuffed, but I think it'll be recharged by the time we get to that part of the uh, combo. Yeah, it's already recharged. We're good to go. up here, wait for him to dig in. Okay, it doesn't matter now. I can't possibly fuck this up. Roll these balls. Ugh. All right, so Marble's kind of a weird boss. That breath at the beginning, if you glitch it out properly with Lightning Rod, will absolutely maul. It will destroy the uh, Kishik Marble. Getting that consistently is not as easy. <laughs> so it is a thing that we could do, but it's very hard to hit, so I don't normally go for it. I don't know if anybody actually goes for it anymore. Uh, excuse me? That's my fault. Mess this up big time. Okay. Mission. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Uh, the ignition takes a while to recharge, about 22 seconds, so doing optimal movement here isn't really that helpful, honestly. Do it. Get down here. Oh, 
You also want to be careful with that movement here. If you try to get a too optimal of an ignition down that exiting that room, uh, sometimes the enemies will fall off and you'll have to shoot a magic back to kill them. Is there no other way across? Okay. It's a wheel. Okay, not cyclone first. Got it. Okay. Unfortunately, when you have uh, an enemy locked on while you're using ignition, the camera gets very, very freaky, and it, it, you will have to work hard to make it work properly. Dang. So we're going to do something a little bit uh, interesting here. We're actually going to load. And what this does is it resets all our cooldowns so we can just go get balls to the wall and gas in on the uh, uh, slime there. And now, for the hard part, another armadillo. Oh, that's super annoying. Okay. Sure. No. Super annoying, but it's whatever situation. That's wrong. Unfortunate. That fight was a lot uh, less optimal than I wanted it to be. I wanted to use ignition there quite a few times, and then I accidentally cycled over it a bit more than I should have. All right, so we're gonna unlearn wing or un upgrade wing here for a second, just so that we have access to uh, flames of rebirth for the next room. Ideally, we would have enough to just buy this, uh, but because I've gone the route of upgrading one of my moves a little bit early, um, I don't have enough to buy flames of rebirth permanently yet. So I will lose some time learning it and unlearning it here. Same yeah. thing with the upgraded uh, Phoenix Wing, or Phoenix Rising Phoenix. Um, let me make sure that I'm on the right thing here. Uh, okay, Come on, Clive. Yeah. Oh. We're nearly at the uh, I don't. I'm not sure if Twitch has. Uh, what limitations they have on it based on, like, region and currency and stuff. It would be a little bit quicker if I um, upgraded or used ignition a little bit sooner there, but I want to get my max limit out of it, so I usually wait to use ignition as long as possible. Or, well, not as long as possible, out of 50-50. Okay, yep. How many of them are there? Okay. Too many. Okay. Uh, this. Onto this. Uh. Got 
everything, right? Damn it. Alright, we're fine. That's super annoying. Okay, close enough. All right. No, I've been quiet for a bit here, but uh, the thing is, a lot of these dungeons are a lot of weaving things together, so you gotta kind of focus to some extent. A lot of this has been getting parries on the axe guy so that uh, my wing does additional damage and speeds things up quite a bit. That's unfortunate, but we're not gonna mess around waiting. Uh, at this point, we need to save our attacks for the um, boss, or our limit for the boss. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, that's not good, actually. That doesn't do anything. Uh, I have no idea with VPNs. I do not use them. Do do do. Uh, yes, we're fine. And I need to focus, so. Thunder. Wing. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Ignition. Ignition. Okay, we should be fine. So, phase one is pretty straightforward. As long as you do it properly, you should be able to clip through it pretty quickly. Um, we really need the parries on Liquid Flame to make this go as quick as possible. So, um, I'm going to be firing off my limit at the start here immediately. So that I, I can get a parry much easier. And then from there, we're going to be following up with a very specific line of moves. I also need to make sure to turn my limit off at a certain point. Okay. Should be good to go. Alright, and because I used my strength tonic at a very specific time, I should be good to go. We're gonna tank a couple of hits here just to refill my uh, limit a bit. Okay. That's annoying! Of course! Of course! That's so annoying, dude. I cannot kill at this point. That's very frustrating. Because Liquid Flame got pushed back away from the Lightning Rod, I could not do enough damage. That's very frustrating when that happens. And if that happens, you can't kill until Liquid Flame turns back to the humanoid form. So that's, like, always a rough time loss. That's very frustrating to put up with, but it is what it is. I guess I should just get good. <laughs> so that's one more dungeon down. I, yeah, I mean... I don't know much about, like, the limitations on credit cards and stuff. I don't know much about any of that nonsense. Uh, yeah, I should be skipping this. We do have a new weapon we can craft here, which we're going to be doing. What'd you want? Uh, did I? Not bad. Oh, no. This is bad. I think this run might actually be dead. 
I don't think yeah, I ever bought the wages yeah. of Warcraft. That's that's the worst case scenario, I think, actually. Going past weighing you down. Nope. It'd better all yep, be we are dead in the water. Runs over. A better price than that. Uh I don't think that's recoverable, because I think I'm short like two or three hundred AP now. Uh That's so frustrating. So I just cleared an entire dungeon without it. I should probably speak to Otto. I think I... I don't know. Uh, I guess I could avoid leveling up wind up for a while, but... That's unfortunate. This is a really good run. I can't believe I forgot the wages of Warcraft. That sucks to hear. We'll see, because I need to get um, Flames of Rebirth here shortly. And if I can't purchase Flames of Rebirth without uh, mm -hmm. Wage of Warcraft here, we're kind of, we're just boned. This will be where it bites me in the ass. Uh, unfortunately, there's no, like, extra kills I can pick up at this point. Hmm. We can get through here. I guess I could do the Badge of Might plus one quest to possibly fix it. Okay, I have enough to buy the Flames of Rebirth. Hmm. I'll probably do the Badge of Might quest to try and fix it. No, it doesn't matter. Yes, we're just gonna have to YOLO it, see what happens. have enough to buy Flames of Rebirth. I'm gonna have to focus a lot here and see if I can figure out how to fix my AP issues. Alright, 
We gotta kill a couple of enemies here to get the next wave to spawn in. Okay. That should kill everything. Okay, good. Oh my gosh, how'd I miss, dude? We're in a really tight spot here because I forgot to buy Wages of Warcraft before Drake's Fang. So that extra AP that I had is gone, and I'm not sure how far behind I am. The fact that I'm seeing 460 right now means I'm behind about 70 AP, I think. Because I should have about 525 right now. To get to the courtyard. I think I'm gonna do the Badge of Might quest. It's the only thing I can think of to clean up real quick and hopefully fix things. If I don't have upgraded wheel, I don't think Kuka's gonna be plausible. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's annoying as shit. Alright. Dog doing, yeah. Still breathing, are you? Excellent. Then Lord Kupka's reward should be ours. Our top five news always keep mysteries. Let them go. Mm, let's drop this. Oh, that's super annoying. That's super cool, dude. If, I, if there's a room I can clear with FOR, I think I can save time. Alright, well... I promise you, Sid. You'll die by my hand. Hmm. 
Damn it! Of course. I hate this so much, dude. Yes, I love the part where I just fly over enemies. Man, I'm in such a bad mood now. You will die by my hand, Rusted. My hatred for you is unending. And you will then let this palace be your grave. Actually, I think I know how I'm gonna do this. I'll pick up an extra fight in the dungeon, or on the desert, on the way over. That's the, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. <sighs> that should round out my AP. That's a lot better than going for the Badge of Might. The Badge of Might fight wouldn't be too bad, and it should give me the extra, like, 20 or 30 AP that I need. <laughs> but it also could take a while to get there. The world has chosen. I am in my Oh, come on! I hate that shit so much. Okay, I guess we're doing it now. Man. Oh. What? I didn't even know you could do that. not even aware you could stagger him, to be honest. was such an awful Kupka fight. I lost time by staggering Kupka. I 
didn't even know you could, Stagger Luca. Uh, we're gonna have to do it in the Belcroy Desert, yeah. I think the birds are probably the best. Because uh, Flames of Rebirth should clean everything up immediately. Oh, man. So, the big issue is I forgot to buy the Wages of Warcraft as soon as I was able to. And I ended up missing out on the 20% bonus for, like, an entire dungeon. Which is pretty massive. So, I'm gonna try and fix it by just picking up a couple of random enemies that you normally wouldn't fight and hope that that works. Uh, it's very unfortunate. It's probably be a 748 because I gotta fiddle around with that. And it threw me off so hard. Literally bucked me off the horse and stomped me to death. Actually, I know a good spot where I can do it, I think. Probably just Flames of Rebirth, the Gazelles, actually. And what can I do for you? Cannot find a better price than that. If I had forgot, if I hadn't remembered to grab it before we did that area, I think GG run over. This is gonna throw off my AP for a long time. time. Let's see if huh? Bardoff's available. If I could just grab the freaking badge of my quest here, it wouldn't be a problem. I could just go do that quest instead. At least I get something out of it. Mistake. Oh, don't open that map, dude! Wait for Martha's rest. Oh, oh wait. Uh, actually... Oh god, I can't. Flames of Rebirth, the gazelles here. Because I gotta wait. I, I need to wait for the cooldown recharge. What? That actually saves a little bit of time. That's gonna annoy the crap out of me. Alright, we're gonna do it this way. Are you serious? What even happened here? Get over here. Dude, get over here, get over here, get over here. 
Oh, I hate it! With a passion, bruh. So ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. Flames of Rebirth didn't just clean that fight up. What the hell, bruh? Are you serious? Why is the side quest still closed? Oh my god, I hate this game so much. That side quest is fine, but this one is locked? Seriously? Dude, fuck off. This game is so poorly designed sometimes, I swear to god. It's impressive how stupid some of this- Wait a minute. Wait. Shut the fuck up, you stupid chocobo. That's right. I- this- Oh, man! <laughs> was doing so good! Oh. Why am I making so many may be the manliest of men. Shouldn't you be getting some rest soon? fine this is common this is practice this is this is good for practice anyway i think because this is such a major fuck up Nothing like losing 30 seconds to one boss. Dude, I am finding out that I can stagger some bosses that, like... I think it's because I didn't do enough damage. Or, I don't know. Now that that's settled. I actually... I don't even know where he is, dude. Stop thinking about the badge of might, dummy. It's not gonna help you. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again.
destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sand. Looks like that fixed it. Okay. That's incorrect. Incorrect. Give me my freaking bird back, please. Run like the wind. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Ah. There she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. A quick drink before we press on? We're gonna lose like another 20 seconds on this split, I think. My AP is still messed up. I'll have to kill like an extra enemy or two well, on the way through. Uh, we also need to go do 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 into Titan. But before we do now, the Royalists said to themselves, their guest is in the fang. I take for Gilbert's sake. This young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Like Believe you me. Well, it's not like we've got a reason to. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Foda knows. Hanging lanterns, keep the doctors from your door. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think he. There we go. I want to say that looks right, but I can't guarantee much of anything. I want to say the extra 20 should put me back on the right path, but uh, there's no way to tell until the next time I got to purchase something or purchase an ability. Fresh bread, warm from the oh, that's right, I should be bouncing off of these Causing trouble in Delamil.
faded to a silken softness. You wouldn't believe. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. What was all that crashing and banging about before? Why is the tavern shut? Right. Ready, go. Run like the wind. At this point, we can't afford to take a fight, unfortunately. I think the fastest way is going to be to do that. All right. Some of them hyper kicks. I'm going to do some greedy stuff here to try and save little bits of time. Dang it. Okay, we want to do this. Clean fight. have the right amount of AP here, but... about to lose a lot of time because I was fucking around trying to figure out how to solve my problem. The finest Hello? Take a sniff, good sir. Needed to you have to be like really close to them, but not you have to be like off to the side, I guess. There we go. Hanging lantern. Ah, they've opened the gate. Lubor was true to his word. We should get going soon. Drake's fang should be just beyond What? The That's super annoying. Shall we press on? Man. This game is whack sometimes oh, with its limit <laughs> activations. I wonder if it's worth just spamming limit thrust at that point. Hello? Hello? Are you fucking kidding me? I am I'm actually livid right now. It's so ridiculous. Yes. Uh Get me out of here, bruh. That wouldn't have been nearly as bad if I hadn't got frickin' stuck on a lamp. Quite literally.
beast than part of the Walloon now. How the hell did that happen? It's over. All right, time to fuck ass. I mean, focus. <laughs> I should not be doing that, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, this... Oh, nice. All right, that actually worked out perfectly. Excuse me? Oh, you little bitch. So I should have used ignition, actually. Problem is, wind up, you can get hit during the charge up, so it's a really obnoxious move. It's very strong, but unless you're in limit, you're nowhere near as invulnerable as you would think you are. Okay, what? Oh! Just charged it on the ground at that point. Okay, we're gonna have to come over here. any other places where I can pick up AP while I'm traveling. Off of like a quick flame of rebirth cover. Right. Stairs. This must be the way out. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we don't need to upgrade anything here. We just want to swap out and put wing over this and Rama here. Let me make sure wing is... Yep, it's upgraded. Got it. Do it this way to avoid that. Oh god, did I just burn my extra strength tonic there? I did. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Oh, my strength tonic's gonna run out on the Undertaker. This is super frustrating. That's why I hate using Ravage. Wait, what? Where's my strength tonic? It just deleted it? Are you serious? Okay, so Undertaker is just going to be extremely bad. Great, thanks. Glad you could delete my strength tonic. There it is. It's tempting to use Ignition to get over there quicker, but we're going to... No, 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 no! That's absolutely the worst case scenario! Don't do that! No! I'm jumping, you bag of trash! Ugh!
unfortunate. Ugh. Damn it. That's so sad, man. Pop my cherry a bit too soon. I'm gonna play this room safe then. More of them. Excuse me? What are you. What is even going on here, dude? Okay. I. I it skip. Get over here! Oh my god. I'm getting really mad because it skipped an enemy. Like, every time I tried to, to cycle between my targets. What the hell, bruh? This game is trash some days, I swear. We were doing good early on, and then now the game is, like, doing weird stuff again. Seriously. It's so bad. It makes this next fight way more annoying than it needs to be. Is this your doing, Ultima? targeting in this game's ass. He's in the sanctuary. I can feel it. Come on, Toggle. this run now. He is killing me too.
Nice.
Uh, could you actually land the hit? Thanks, buddy! Nice hitboxes. Maybe you should make sure that they actually uh, exist if you're gonna go through all this effort.
I guess if we don't have enough to upgrade in Vocal Lad, I'm just gonna call it. I will probably pick off some extra enemies if possible if I still have FOR on. I shouldn't be able to make that jump right here right now! Okay, fine. Grrr! So many missed it. Okay. Doesn't really matter, we hit like an HP block anyway. That was a really good Titan. <laughs> I thought that was a mash for some reason. Yeah. 
At this point, I want to quit because I was being a sourpuss for like an hour. Because I don't want that to be my PB of me being a big sourpuss baby because I frickin' screwed up. Get sucker punched! Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna dodge this just quicker. Badoosh! That was a really strong fight. Luckily, it made up for a lot of my previous mistakes. Unfortunately, uh, we could have had that in conjunction uh, with a good run. Instead of have that in conjunction with a lot of silly mistakes. Uh, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna try and pick up a few extra kills as well. I'm not super confident that those three birds was enough to uh, catch me back up in AP. And if I'm too low later, uh, shit's gonna get really bad really fast, so... I'm gonna try and, uh, see if I can find a few places on the way to town. Uh, in Bokalad, which will allow me to refill. That's neat. Alright, so we're going to be upgrading our weapon in the next area. There's actually a hidden secret weapon on the way to town. So we'll be picking that up there. We could get the Earthshaker, but it'd only be a five-point increase, so we're not bothering. Okay. Oh, that's, uh... I'm lucky that I was able to slip in between those. Oops. Okay, that's what I thought. That's not what I wanted to do! Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Oh my god, shut up! Shut up! <sighs> Dumb bitch. Fuck you and your stories, you stupid old asshole. Thanks, Torgle. If you're gonna buy some, a bit quick about it. So the Enhancer is a okay weapon here. Uh, it's slightly more oriented to staggering enemies than anything else. Uh, yeah, we want to warp again. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. Sorry about Sourpuss in there. Uh, that was really rough having to sit through, like, dropping 90 seconds of time save. Uh, out of just, like, one miss input here, one miss input there, accidentally talking to this dingus there. It's such a silly way to lose time, talking to NPCs. It's so frustrating, because, like, everything just takes forever in this game. All right.
Hmm. I think I'll grab one of the enemies on the way up the up the hill too. Looks like I found the river. Where's Gav? Forever? Yeah, forever. What's up, PX? How's it going? Indeed. Just if I... Why? I keep trying to skip cutscenes that don't exist. Send help. Send help. Like, no, I can't wait to pick up this stupid stardust. Must skip the cutscene. Please! I need you to cooperate! Holy shit! What is happening right now? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever had my brain shut down so hard before. Holy shit. I had to that had to have been like 10 seconds of wasted time. No! <laughs> Stop trying to pre-buffer. You know that that doesn't work. Don't do it. All right, at this point, I can dip at any point and just raid <laughs> raid quest for glory. <laughs> no matter what, uh, my job has been done. <laughs> I can now leave forever. My people need me. Good day to you. Oh yeah, I should probably... Damn it! Oh, the crystals we get from the tailor won't be You're quite us. talented with that rod of yours. I've caught my share with it, as did my grandfather before me. <sighs> I'm gonna give myself a freaking migraine if I keep up like this. Okay, that actually was super beneficial. Alright, that's an extra 14 that I don't normally pick up, so I'm happy with that. Straight home now.
Damn it. You're finished. Literally. Oh, I should not have been able to warp. I should have started with ignition like normal instead of fumbling over myself to get Wicked Wheel done. Alright, if that extra 16 or that extra like 26 or 27 isn't enough to cover up the 20% bonus, I'm just boned at this point. I know how to make it work in a lot of scenarios, but... Wait. There we go. Alright, Talia. We've we'll talked to Talia here. And then uh, I could buy some extra strength pots if I need them, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Oi, don't touch anything. Okay, that's one done. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. That should do it. Hopefully, Talia's finished too. the mash all right i really hate that jump and talk are on the same button because when I mash X to talk to a character, the game's like, oh, you obviously want to jump. Yes, surely I wanted to jump. Jump for joy. I better go and give Mid the good news then. Uh. There's like, this game just makes it impossible to buffer anything. She was building a ship. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was Fibian I talked to. Well, whatever. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go, dude! All right, Sid, time to do a thing. I killed Koopka, Sid! Aren't you happy? I murdered another man in your name! How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Talia. I'm glad to hear it. And Torg will help too. The new boy. Yeah. This used to be a trade route. Why do I even bother? 
Until the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Well, I would have liked to drag those guys with me, but that's eh, whatever. What do you think? <laughs> How nice. Well, they have a hideaway at uh, that's not right. That's also very wrong. Uh, that's actually. Damn it! Kind of worked out the way I wanted it to. We've done the Republic a service. Ready, girls? Run like the wind. You start the dialogue. Thank you. When it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruins should hold it. path continues on the other side. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to drag that guy with me. What I can do is take a gazelle with me. I gotta figure out what my AP should be looking like so that I can get... Oh, that's right, this isn't a cutscene. I wonder... Brockland markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Okay, ah, that's not faster. That's what I get for trying to be cute. We're just gonna kick here, because there's no point in drifting. The dialogue will start almost immediately anyway. No. His radiance has lost one capital already. Alright, buddy, you're coming with me. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle-armed. But as if we can wait Oh, that's right. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can't do that here. I for gore. More refugees. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. No need to ride from here. There are no crystals here. We have to keep going. Seriously? This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Oh. Intriguing. Peaches and pears. Peaches and peas. All right, so this is where I'm going to be able to find out if my AP is fucked or not. He must be around here somewhere. Because I need to master lightning rod and thunderstorm at this point, and if I don't have enough, uh, we are absolutely boned. Uh... Of 
caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Joe, please. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me. <laughs> All right then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Turf for hire. Best That's that then. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. There are no crystals here. We have to keep. Aye. We're gonna head into town here, very, or head into the next dungeon here very shortly. 28,000, that looks about right. Maybe a little bit on the high side after picking up some extra fights, but uh, can't really guarantee. No, I mean, wait, actually, no, that's correct. I need to pick this one up. Maybe about to the the start tweaking there for a second, and then I realized. That's actually what I wanted to happen. That's that then. There are no crystals here. Supposed to do it. Let's see what happened. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should have mighty good. Excuse me. Alright. That's wrong, but whatever. I doubt these are the ringleaders, but at least we know we're on the right track. What a dumb moment. Alright, up see we go. Time to find out if I'm boned! Alright. Oh, let's pop the ancient sword in first so I don't forget that. Want to upgrade and master. Alright. Uh, then we want to put on, I believe, Titan here. Titan over Rama, wind up in, over Thunderstorm. And then we want to put uh, Thunder over this, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Understorm over Cyclone. Correct, correct, correct. Alright, everything looks right to me. Okay. Okay. Now let's try not to fuck up wind up here. Fuck! That guard from Falkland! Kill it! Kill them all! Okay. 
Not really sure how bad my uh, AP is. Seems like I have enough. Wait, no, no, no. No. Auto turn in. Two. Mm. Right then. All right, come hell or high water, we're at three hours left, so we we go on. Unless I like soft lock on something silly again. Or pseudo soft lock, rather. That's right. I don't think I can get over this top if I use ignition here. The city's on fire. I'm sure Goose is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? Hello? All right. Those were Imperial Dragoons. Okay, we got planes to rebuild. We're good. All right, let's get good or die trying. Just hope he's all right. You there! Drop lightning rod, ignition. There's no doubt about it. Clean dragoon. Yeah, dragoons. What is this then? The Civil War. It's a lot easier since I didn't forget my friggin' ancient sword. Gonna save and reload here to uh, reset Flame of Rebirth's cooldown. Double down on the ignition here for the extra speed. There it is, the bell tower. Right, let's go. All right, so uh, we're going to start getting to a point where we use Flames of Rebirth a lot more um, in the next several areas. It's There's a lot of areas where it's just a bunch of tanky enemies, and using this will speed things up. Okay, that's... Dag it! Nab it! Okay, good. Normally that should one-shot there, but... I didn't ignition properly. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, got a limit here. Thunderstorm. Okay, uh, then we want to put Cyclone on here. We also want to upgrade Windup. Okay, we're good. Normally, Windup would just barely be upgradable there, but uh, being that far ahead means I fixed my AP issues taking out those extra few enemies. Even though I forgot to put uh, the uh, thing on. Okay. gonna do something real quick this isn't optimal but okay i want to double check and make sure my wine or my wheel was upgraded because that could be a big problem if i don't have it fully upgraded not having limit here does not feel correct Where the oh, there's Thunderstorm. Okay, we're good. Alright, we're gonna grab these two with ignition and carry them to the door. Alright, good to go. All according to Kate. Alright, the dragon is gonna require a lot of my um focus, so I'll try and talk about it after we're done with it. Alright, good. Alright, let's go. Staggered. Okay, that's kind of annoying. We're gonna miss out on a lot of damage here. That's not right. This is very frustrating, and I should not be having this issue. Okay, I need to potion my way through this, though. Uh, there we go, Dragon Dance. Alright, everything's good to go. Clean. So, the trick there is we want to force Dragon Dance, which the um, Dragon will use at a certain threshold of HP. And we're really looking forward, we're, we're trying to make sure to not stagger an additional time, because if we do stagger an additional time before Dragon Dance, um, we will get put in a position where we'll hit the HP lock, period. So what we're aiming for is to uh, get the first stagger, because we can't avoid it. 
and then prime the next one so that we do enough damage to cause Dragon Dance, but not enough stagger so that it doesn't stagger the enemy. All right, so we're going to uh, pick up Diamond Sword here. Uh, sure. Two Diamond Swords. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I got them. All right, we're going to grab all of our potions here because I did take a beating. And that will fix everything. Uh, I do want to go... Boop. Uh, we want to put Flames of Rebirth back on for the next area. And a clean uh, White Dragon. I'm going to be honest. White Dragon is probably one of the scariest fights for me. Uh, far and away. So that uh, relieves a lot of pressure. Okay. Just what we need. Nice. Uh, want to put Cyclone back on here? Cyclone Rod Wheel, got it. Get everybody next to us. Up we go. Uh, oh! Dang it, that's super annoying. The lightning rod in the previous room is still remains a target, so... That's why the phoenix shift went sideways like that. I forgot about that. Even if you're not, like, next to it, it'll still do it that way. Okay, we can just do it. That's wrong. Get over here. That's unfortunate. Oof. If I do this right, I should be able to... Damn it! I thrust it, like, a couple of frames too late. To the point where I was, like, accidentally inside the thing. Okay. room, so... Wait, no, that's not right. I was on the wrong one. Okay, got it. One, two, three... Uh, we want to go wing and cyclone. All right. Now the reason we bought those strength tonics. This guy. What? Wing, wind up, rod limit. Uh, that's not even correct anymore. I don't know. Uh, 
The only thing that's right that I need to know is that rod. Got it. Let me get the stagger here, unfortunately. I'm not sure if I ever had enough damage. Oh, I did. I shouldn't have attacked. That's my bad. Shit. Uh, well, we're going to lose some time here. I should have just let it pan out to see. That could have gone a lot better if I hadn't have gotten the extra stagger there. Uh, I really just stomped on the gas pedal because I was too nervous when I should have trusted my setup. Because I did do it right. I just needed to not use thunder there. Everything else was fine. Uh, speaking of things being correct... Actually, I should be using... Phoenix shift here. No, uh, one big issue there is I forgot to use the potion before the Congo line of moves at the end there, so that was kind of dumb. Yeah, that's not surprising. Quiet. There's someone up there. Could have definitely saved some more time there. So I want to match this to skip. Distill distill. Distilled crystal. First the heart, then the heart. Doop, boop, boop.
think that's close enough. Might be wrong though. This boss can be really frustrating to be honest. Uh, actually, I don't think I have enough to stagger here. I'm gonna have to get closer. If I'm lucky, I have two shots. Two fire. Fire is. Excuse me. Oh, I'm fucked. these fights up. Oh, did they? That's cool, I guess.
I mean, I would be if the PlayStation Pro wasn't, like, ghastly expensive for a marginal increase. Three days early, huh? Doesn't sound too bad to me. Alright, we're almost done with Bahamut, thankfully. That'll speed this up significantly. That's not what I wanted to hit. Okay. The only thing I was interested in was a supposed, um, boost in load times, but, uh, you know, I'd have to use it myself to see. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm to understand. It basically just makes 4K mode work better. Are you serious? I'm already done enough damage? Oh, this is lame. LAME! about an hour, two and a half hours away from finishing up this run. Uh, this is the part where we're like, we get a lot, have a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna have a lot more strong abilities throughout the course of the run here. So, we're gonna get a lot, uh, more juice in general. We're gonna hard spit flare here again. I have no idea. I mean, like, your PC would be wholly uh, dependent on what your computer can actually just do. That kind of sucks that that whiffed, but I don't know what the dude say. Split Flare is going to be enough here to finish this. Yeah, sure, whenever.
I'll eat whenever. Ideally, we do enough damage off Split Flare here, and we don't have a, a stagger. God dang it! I hate this. You just shift phases already? Excuse me? What is... Why? His HP was locked. Do I have to stagger? That's annoying. I'm kind of mad I had to find that out in the middle of a run. So yeah, ideally uh, we could have done that in one go. I've had it kill without the stagger before, but the HP must have been just low enough that, uh, or just high enough that I couldn't kill without pushing the stagger, which really sucks. You, you want to avoid staggers as much as possible because it's just wastes a ton of time. Pretty sure this first, if we miss the first punch, we're just in a more optimal position to start the fight. Oh, shit. That's my mistake. Oh, wow, that's a really long cutscene for this much damage. This fight's going poorly. We're gonna end up getting purple phase. I don't know why. I started mashing the attack button instead for at the beginning there and messed things up. What the heck? Mm. 
Yep, we got purple phase, because I'm a big idiot. Trash, 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 trash. I'm a trash panda. But a little trash panda. Trash panda. Scaled. I love how the screen's just completely white for the most part. Yeah, the this fight was kind of trash. Kind of really trash. For every one good icon fight, we have one bad one. Anytime, game! I think I'm just going to give up on that 745. I don't care. It's not going to happen, and I'm not willing to grind this game enough to shave off another two to three minutes. It either happens today or uh, Wednesday, or it ain't happening at all. Joshua. While he rests, we'll see what Otto has to say. Did you see the pair that got hauled into tires? Aye. Aye, it's a dangerous world out there. That's not what I want. There's two okay. of these skies driving men. Alright, uh, I don't have enough renown to turn in yet, so. Is a storm 
storm coming soon. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. It's not the way I should have done this. Um, okay. This kind of works. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. Do you think there were as many as Martha says? I don't think they've abandoned us, do you? They're not. Not a chance. Alright. Alright. Let's try not to lose time this time. I gotta pay a bit of attention here. Wing is not correct. Close enough. I have to remember to load after this next one, too, because I'm doing it backwards. Actually... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's faster to do in first. Will it take me two minutes to get damn ML squared away? Should I risk it? Headed 
for the rest. We have to slow them down. Martha and the others won't be ready. Uh... What the heck? Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round to wait. Shall we? That's absolutely horseshit and not what I was locked on to. Fuck you, Dan. I'm super mad about that. Suppose we just follow the shouting. What's he doing here? If I had my pickaxe, I would... I mean, it may still be possible. I'm not convinced our roles in this uh. are entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Mummy, I'm scared. Oh, I'm ruined. Oh, rubber meets the road. Is this long enough to fully recharge? Yes, it is. Alright, fine, whatever. He's all yours. They mean to So I've already re-topped my strength pots. Uh, 
First we find Isabel. Heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts from the far side of I the I saw world. it with my own eyes. Hole of oil, I'm under a blood. for more on the captain's orders. Okay. Madame! At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. Before we could even draw his steel. Faster! That's great. Excuse me. Come here. Come here. Okay. Clean overall. All right. Now we have to head over to Canver, uh, which is going to be the next area. It takes quite a while to get down there, though. And it's going to take a while to set that up, so. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. We're getting very close to being able to buy the next chunk of uh, AP. So, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, from the Renown shop. But we'll have to get that on the way out. Uh, once we're headed towards the end game. Luckily, we can afford it before we get to Waylood. Uh, so we can avoid wasting a bunch of time. Check something. Is my. I don't think it's recovered yet, right? It's like a dream. Uh, the four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this. Excuse me. Gav and the others could be in danger. You're right. I'm 
I'm sorry. Just wanted to take one last uh, easy... Hello? One last easy EXP drop, or AP drop to make sure I'm on track. Yes. If that isn't enough to fix it, then we're boned. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own. Tell us about Rote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better hands. Not really sure if I could have just fired off my um, FOR there and killed him immediately or not. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Time to fight. Trying to get those hyper kicks when possible. Places I haven't. I can walk from here. Okay. Where now, Joshua? So the very There's first room we're gonna need. Well, not the first room. The first fight is a very large uh, group of enemies, and Flames of Rebirth is going to simplify things quite a bit. So we're gonna try and clear that room up ASAP. It would be nice if I could lock on to the ninja slash assassin. Uh, make my life a little bit easier. But because I need to take care of the other enemies right next to it. Or in the next dungeon area. It, it ends up being very obnoxious. Because there's one like mid-boss enemy in the group. And a bunch of other like basically ne'er-do-wells at best. You know, pretty much just... Nuisance enemy is nothing more. Free cities and a sea. Come on. We're gonna lose a little bit of time going out of my way to kill those wolves, but. map prompt here we're gonna enter one of the last few dungeons in the game let's go all right Togo. let's find those survivors they don't stand a chance against those things. Finally get to do the end game. Let's have some fun with it. Doesn't really matter when we ignition. We just want to make sure those guys die ASAP. Alright, that'll be that. Hello? Thank you, game. Excuse me? That's gonna be a pain in my butt. Oh, excuse me. Okay, could you walk onto the things that's hitting me? What happened to the Royal Army? 
I should have known better. Alright, so at this point, I need to have enough for upgraded Giga Flare towards the end of this dungeon, or else it. Stupid! Did did der! This freaking lightning rod sucks if it's friggin' still active. Uh, I hate lightning rods sometimes. Oh, no, you don't. You're gonna come over here, buddy? That's kind of annoying. Now here's where the rubber meets the road. Do we have enough for Giga Flare? Looks like it. Okay, uh, we want to put on Bahamut, Giga, and Wing. This is the Agra. Yeah. The Thankfully. There may still be some. Oh, that's inside. great. seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Bungnir. Watch closely, Mythos. That's nice. Uh, wrong. You, I hate this thing so much, dude. 
stupid bag of trash. What? Oh my lord. We're gonna have to kick it here. Uh, that's so frustrating. Actually, I uh, strength potion. Oh, yeah, that's my fault. Sure. How oh, rusty. Man. All because this game is fucking stupid about walking onto lightning rod. I fucking hate that design choice. Lock on? Boss in front of you? Nah, lightning rod's more important. Piece of shit game. Such a stupid freaking design choice. I hate it. I hate it so much. I, I'm pretty sure it's indefensible in my opinion. Honestly, the lightning rod should not be something you can even lock on to. Because it just nice. makes combat more complicated than it needs to be. By adding an additional thing you can target that odd offers almost no benefit to targeting over the boss. How are we supposed to do our duty? So done with 16. I can't even stand this stuff anymore. I'm just gonna assume it's faster to, to warp at this point. supposed to do our duty when all right I need degrade wheel master wind up for over wing master wind up for wind up uh that should be fine Oh my uh, Don't care, just sell me the potions already, lady. Go on then. I need both the strength potions that. for both Barnabas and the first part of the boat fight.
I don't understand, but okay. fight all because if you if you miss the uh stun on that stupid axe or axe guy it's just garbage have care my friends it is not the blood of the guns through in every face these foes will not fall but they will fall like oaks before a footman's Good thing I brought one! How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. We have already killed at least five of the bastards. Alright. Let's do the last. Now we just hang out and wait. What? Seriously? Dude, I got fucking juggled. Should we make for the ship? Not yet. Wait for my signal. Mega Flare Dodge, Limit Cancel during Mega Flare Animation, Thunder, Orb Wind Up Ignition? Oh no, Orb FOR Wind Up Ignition. Yeah, okay. One more? Yeah, three. Let's hope the axe fight in the middle of the ship goes pretty decent and not a giant pain in my ass as usual. One. Okay, 
let's go. What? Are you see- <sighs> She must be here somewhere. I should be able to wind up through them. <sighs> nah, it looks like my ignition will come back in time. If only barely. What? Okay, fine. We're just gonna do it this way then. Strength pot, and let's go. Time go! Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Given. And thus is the light of hope severed. You would yield so soon. Never. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. 
the icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Yeah, so oh, Barnabas has got a flex that he beat us. our ass, even though, as you, you could tell, I might of many. lit him Your the fuck up. Does not answer for it Can't take Alice. credit for the fight, what? but when you Are learn you it and you execute that fight properly, it saying. feels so good. Is oh, it, it's unbelievable. To an it doesn't really save, like, a huge amount of time. Because uh, when he goes into the purple phase, you need to hit him immediately. And when you do enough damage, he'll start the countdown, which is basically, like, end of the fight, right? Um, but if you don't do it soon enough, he will cancel your Giga Flare before you do enough damage, and he'll do Gungnir, where he'll throw down a little shock panel on the floor, and he'll also do this thing where he does the phantom cuts throughout the whole arena, and you have, those two animations have to play out, period. And if you don't do enough damage by the end of those two animations, he'll launch into another attack. So, basically, you're just clipping through that first phase ASAP, and it should set you up in a position where he's always right next to the lightning rod. As long as you Giga Flare early enough, you can also cancel that second animation, so it makes the fight just snap by. It feels so good when you do Barnabas, right? Because Barnabas is such a hard fight. And what exactly he really be? is. Why, Lord, Barnabas round two God. is not going to be any easier, but it's going to be the same situation. It's going to feel really good if we if I hit the strat properly. Manners, Lord Luckily, the end game has a lot of time save, but it also like has a lot of time. So we got to be very careful Albeit in the next one, 90 sir, minutes uh, and to not drive play to too manage. poorly. They are pure. They are... <sighs> you mean to turn everyone a Kashyyyk? Luckily, we're getting to the point where it is back to back to back to back stuff, so we shouldn't have an issue. An issue with cooling down anymore. Led astray by their <clears throat> clamorous wills. Oh, let's see here. So we're going to grab some AP from the mission, because now we have enough Renowned uh, to pick up AP. No uh, the second helping of AP Salvation. from the uh, Renowned vendor. Uh, we have enough AP. We should have enough AP to pick up Limit Plus 1 and Limit Plus 2. Uh, so I'm going to get an extra two bars of Limit for the next couple areas. Well, I don't need them just yet. But I'm going to pick them up because having the extra limit does make these fights a little bit easier. And it means that I don't need to be as worried about maintaining and uh, micromanaging my limit. Because uh, I'll have double of what I normally would. Um, I could also put on Mega Flare, but Mega Flare is really only good for certain bosses. Mainly uh, Barnabas and the final boss. Both of them have a lot of moves that you can't dodge otherwise, so Mega Flare dodges are nice. The stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only uh, I could get the Ice Brand coming up here, but I'm not going to bother. I'm actually going to get the Masamune, or uh, Masamune, because I'm not, uh, not that much of a genius. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. We do have one, the, one, the single skip that's in this game coming up. There's actually a mob skip as soon as we enter Waylude if I do the, uh, if I do it right. But you gotta be careful, like, you're, you could theoretically, uh, make your movement better, but if you go for better movement, it'll break the skip, so I have to be careful here. It's a really weird thing where, like, if you get in the right spot, the enemies will de-aggro to you. And then you'll be able to open up the gate instead of having to clear everything up. But I, I have to be careful because sometimes that, yeah, 2,180 2, does mean I have enough for a... We'll grab a limit and a mega flare here, I think, then. All right, I'm going to head over to the counter here and get my AP from her. So the Shiva Ice Brand would be a little bit better 
Uh, but I'm going for the Masamune because it's, we're going to be using it for a lot longer. Uh, and it has like 10 more damage. If we didn't use it for more or less the entire end game, I'd probably take the Ice Brand. But um, I'd have to be like in range of 730 to consider skipping it. Because you do lose about a minute grabbing the Masamune. But uh, it is what it is. All right, so we're gonna do the change out here. You know, we're not gonna bother with the Mega Flare right now. Grab this. Oh, uh, what am I? Oh, wind up into Wicked Wheel. Uh, oh, I know what it is. I want to upgrade Wicked Wheel. Never mind. I was right. I want to upgrade the Wicked Wheel here, because we're going to be using it a lot in the final dungeon, so it'll help make my life a little bit easier with the extra hits. With it at level 1, it's not going to do quite as much as you want it to. And I need the Wicked Wheel to clean up enemies, so I want to be mindful about uh, not under-damaging. Purse weighing you down. You'll not find a better price than that. I have no. Oh, I want to grab the extra belt, too. That's what I was supposed to buy at Charon's. Whoopsie! Going purse weighing you down. It'd better all be a it's a good 30 defense up, so it's worth. I could upgrade it to plus two, but it'd be like three points. Or, it'd be like ten points at most. If I upgraded the rune belt to plus two. And then if I switched out to the other wristlet, that'd be like another 15 points. It's just, nah. Alright, now we're entering the final area. Waylude is the last continent, and this is basically uh, all gas, no brakes. We are not going to be slowing down at any point from here on out. We're just go, 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 going. Always wanted to visit Ash. Hello? We're in Where are you at, Ambrosia? Don't expect all Ambrosia? Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there Hello? looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Faster! Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav? This place is as dead as Gregor's ghost. I knew I smelled something. I see only orcs and Kashyyyk here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time. So yeah, if you do this setup there around pretty much like that, uh, you'll be able to kind of hide in the um, fence and uh, over again. 
You'll be able to save a little bit of time there. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'd like to drift. Thanks. Unfortunately, Waylude is just as obnoxious as the first area with Ambrosia. There's tight corners, tight passageways, so it's really hard to get your drifts going in a uh, effective and fast manner. Lady Vivian's map is so old, you know not tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastla. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. Run like the wind. Ugh, this place reeks like a mobile's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that'll kill us. Straight home now. No, don't do that. Oh my gosh, that's super annoying. Mm. We're gonna lose some extra time here because the game is being obnoxious. This has been a fantastic waylude so far. And by that, I mean I hate everything. No mistakes. At least we haven't turned around yet. Alright, we're gonna throw Masa Moon on here and we are gonna light these idiots up. Wait, and then do this. 
Okay, of course that one's too far away. Of course, dude! Oh my god, get over here! Piece of garbage. I should have just used frickin' Thunderstorm on the axe guy in front of me. I did that in a really wonky way that was really annoying. Okay, we still don't have the 20k for the limit here, because I upgraded wheel instead, so... We're gonna have to downgrade wheel again later. That's fine though. I'd rather have wheel maxed out Maybe than something here we can use. not ready. Ah. So did I. Okay. So we're headed over to Reverie. What? So will I. Excuse me? I disagree. Alright, well, let's see how awful this frickin' hillside's gonna be. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. Don't turn around. Okay, thank you, Ambrosia. That's halfway there. Okay, ah, uh, she's totally gonna turn around if I don't ignore it. Alright, this is gonna be one of the last, like, really tight movement areas. Unfortunate. It's really rough getting. The oh, wow, I'm lucky. Normally, when you get hit on, on while you're on Ambrosia, you get knocked off, but it must have just hit the very edge of my uh, model. Right. All right. Sure. All right, so things are not going to get any easier. So it's Warp, Thunder, Wheel, Stagger. Wind up then, Giga? Okay. Tower. It's alive. More echoes of the Fallen. They seem to feed on Ethan. Flames of Rebirth is going to be the core of our strat here for a lot of these areas. So that we can um, get where we need to go when we... Ugh! Bloody oh god, I'm on the wrong... Why do all their floors seem to have a mind of their own? That's super annoying, and I hate it when it does that. Okay, for a minute there, I thought I accidentally wasted a strength potion. I was like, you got to be kidding me. All right. Uh, that's not going to work out the way I want it to. Oh, that's so annoying. To do it this way. Uh, re lightning rod. 
Okay, I need to grab you, and then I need to Giga Flare. going to upgrade this and I... Oh, I don't need to swap yet. I don't think my AP ever got fixed. Alright, so I think it's right here is where the door is. Okay, the slime is Orb, Thunder, Wheel, and then wind up Giga. Got it. That was just me being greedy. Uh, FOR over wind up. Okay. out if that was a mistake or not. Worst case scenario, I can just use wheel instead. If I were Barnabas, where would I be? The top. So I could look down on the world. Okay. And two. Oh, actually, could you just get over here? the other... Oh, no. Unfortunate. Okay, before Soul Taker, wing over FOR, wind up over wheel, upgrade limit... Wing, wind up, uh, upgrade limit, and mega flare, which is not needed. Oh my 
I should never do that. That was stupid and greedy. Okay. Do I put wheel back on at any point? Hopefully there aren't any more. I don't. Yeah, so what I can do here is I'm gonna unpower wheel, learn mega flare, and we're gonna call it there. Yeah. Theoretically, I think it's better to use ignition at the bottom there, but I forget to all the time. Uh, that's not right. Orb. Under shift. Oh, that's nice. Ugh. We're gonna lose a bunch of time here, because this fucking thing fell off my moves in a weird way. It's frustrating as heck. Look for the time being and be done with it. Wing storm limits. What's more for, eh, Togo? It's in a really rough spot. Uh, I only need the one counter though, so it's fine. Uh, okay, we'll heal at the top, it's fine. All right, let's go. If you think your will the stronger, prove it. By this day's end, you shall know.
All right, that's phase one out of the way. That puts us in a, a semi-decent spot. So we're going to get a hit with an attack that's just going to, like, AoE the whole screen. So we're going to jump forward and drop a rod and let him beat the crap out of himself. You will not defeat me otherwise. We'll see. Perhaps you still Okay. I figured that was going to happen. Excuse me, cancel. We're just looking to recover limit here, so... Uh, well, we didn't recover nearly as much as I wanted, so that's cool. <sighs> you should get Mega Flare Dodge in there, but I, I have a hard time landing it. Would you turn your back on us? Would you turn your back on the truth? Barnabas. We are not as weak as your God believes. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a bit, so take a quick standing break. Kind of in a bad spot. Luckily, I got two bars, around two bars back, so I should have enough to do what I need to here. But, uh. We're gonna have to just use the limit for countering. That is it. I do not have enough leeway otherwise. Take forever. What are you waiting for? Men know nothing of the phase the first phase went fine. Phase two was kind of a disaster, but we got there. What do you will? <laughs>
made a weapon of your weakness? <laughs> yep. My apologies. You are All right. not the fool I took you for. Thunder, limit, counterattack, wing, wind up. So it ends. And then re limit, counter rod, giga. Ideally. <laughs> this is where we can lose a lot of time. This phase really sucks. It's part of the reason why we invest in the four bars for limit. Good. So frustrating, dude. I have no idea why my frickin' damage was so low. Okay, that's my fault. Well, we're about to lose some time here. You're supposed to skip that. I think it's because I had to, I turned my limits on and off. It, it screwed up my damage, and I didn't really think about it. Just die, dude. Being real stubborn today. Ugh. Yeah, Barnabas was pretty rough. I should have never sure turned the limit on and off at the beginning. I forgot I needed the extra damage. Not just the... Uh, Parry bonus. The parry plus the limit plus the strength lim damage. Your will. Um, I still have an extra no. strength potion. Where do I want to use it now? It do I want to use it on Raven Whip Rip Wall or? I don't know. I'm gonna go through it first. Actually, no, I don't have enough time to to do that. It's uh, 
GG, I don't have any more breaks. Um... It really isn't gonna help me anywhere outside of either the very final fight in Drake's Spine or at Raven Rip Wall. So I need to hit 5k. So I have 90. Oh shit. That puts me at 3. I'm short. I'm really short. Uh, I'll have to downgrade wing then as well, I think. Hmm. Why is my AP so bad? I went out of my way to get extra kills. We'll go from the bottom up, and then cycle over. Okay, um... Okay, I think I'm gonna have to drop wing and then re-upgrade it. Yeah, because this will put me at... Yep, I'm gonna be short, just like I thought. Okay, we need to put on Odin, Gungnir, and I believe that's it. When Barnabas fell, uh, FOR over wing is my other thing I gotta do. Stone here is barred to us no longer. Alright, we'll hold on to this strength potion for the end of uh, Drake's spine then. Which my... I got plenty of potions. I don't need to worry about healing then. Uh, let's do it here. Hmm. You were right, Joshua. Yeah. I can't believe I actually managed to get that in here. Nice. Straight home now. Uh, yep. Not a cutscene yet. Is a cutscene now. This is why I grabbed the Moss Immune, because, like, I have a hard time being super consistent. If I didn't have to worry about, like, messing up the fights at all, I'd take Ice, or ice Brand, because I could definitely get enough damage. But with the extra 10 points on Masa, I have a little bit more um, leeway. Alright, so we're gonna try and bring everything down with us here. Zen Tetsuken is pretty nice. Oops. He's made nothing All right, that should be enough. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, wow. This is really frustrating. Pop the potions here. Because I accidentally did it too soon. What a goober. Okay, that's just rude. Uh, okay, I guess we're strength potting here. Uh, oopsie. That strength potion would have helped better at the end of Drake's spine, but I switched over to my potions because I was going to die like an idiot. Oh, it is what it is. Not a big time loss or save either way. Joshua, 
This one's bigger than the others. Okay, I have no idea how this one keeps teleporting away like this. Unfortunate, but whatever. All right. Okay. Uh, unlearn arms of darkness. Master limit. Master thrust. Okay, master this. Uh, then we want to put wing on. No, wait, that's incorrect. Flames of Rebirth. Shiva over Odin. And Thunderstorm over this. Yeah. <coughs> we can rest here if you like. I'm just going to go with Chocobo movement here. Even though I like the uh, Odin movement. Go to get a. Do I want to upgrade Mega Flare? Um. Not a lot of places I want to use level 4 Mega Flare. Any place that I do use it is someplace something. Dude, seriously? Alright. I hate this so much. What a cool game. Bird on bird violence is the only way to go. Does it bother you that we haven't heard a single human sound? Everything about this place bothers me. Damn it! Doing my best to frickin' recover movement here. I could buy strength potions if I really wanted to by going over to uh, North, uh, North Wall or whatever, but it's not needed. And when I can buy strength potions later, right before the final boss fight. So. That's cool. What? Uh, yeah. Thank you. That's super annoying, the way that that worked out. Okay, let's just go. Okay, ignition. Oh, right, that's great. Back. 
Conjure Ward. I'm lucky I got Comet. Joshua. Mm -hmm. Desperate times hold for Masa Moon! Treasure with us. Let's go. Imagine how silly this fight would have been if it was a behemoth versus Ifrit trying to dodge meteorites. Ugh. Be so bad. So bad. Alright, so we want to start this phase with Thunder and uh, Blizzara, if possible, to get a stagger. Then we're going to follow up with um, Ignition and uh, Wind Up and some regular hits. And then from there, we're going to try to stunlock the boss in such a way that he'll immediately go into a phase where he casts Meteor over and over again uh, and let him kill himself with Meteor through right Lightning Rod. That way, we won't have to bother using Giga Flare. Which isn't not an option. It's just easier to do it this way. Because you have to wait for two, at least two Meteors anyhow. Even if I get him down to 1 HP, he'll Meteor twice. I'll make sure that I'm actually on Thunder before I fire this off. Or else it'll be Flames of Rebirth and I'll be really mad. Should be fine. Thunder. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now this should lead to, yep. All right, we're good. Okay, high potion it is. Uh -oh. And easy peasy. That's optimal behemoth. Well, optimal minus phase one, that is. Pretty good fight, pretty good fight. Behemoth is a really frustrating fight um, that takes a pretty high skill level uh, to get it right. And I still, I, I can do it, but I still don't quite understand how it works, okay. On Flames of Rebirth. Pick up the extra potions here. This might take a while. Okay, we want to make sure to kill a certain amount of these guys to get the next wave going. Every time I always miss it. All right, so we want to save load almost every phase here. All right, gonna go. That's, uh, yep. One of these days I'll actually get the movement down. Okay. We're just waiting for everything to be dead. Uh, I could theoretically, you know, have a better camera angle when I end these fights, but I want to make sure all the enemies are gone first.
Okay. That's not what I want to be. We'll just do it this way. This will be the quicker of the two. Uh, yep. Wait, what? What's going on? Okay. Threw me off a bit, uh... Unfortunately, some of these rooms I can get away with not resetting, but that's not the case for all of them. Yeah, it's, this is not a cutscene. Once we step onto that bridge, we'll be easy targets. Uh. This is actually a really fun area, in my opinion. I really love it. No. Excuse me? Excuse me. That's cool. I'm super happy you could do this to me, game. Ah, uh, yes. I love when my fights are elongated because the game thinks I want to Giga Flare an enemy with, like, 1% of its HP left and, um, like, 1,000 total HP instead of the mini-boss that had, like, 50,000 HP and is currently still at, like, 10k. It's a super cool thing that this game does. Uh, you would think it's better to ignition up here, but I actually need it in the next room, so we're not going to be doing that. Uh, excuse me? That's very annoying, actually. Mm. Gonna have to do this in a really weird way. Stupid. Mm. Freaking eating my inputs. Well, this entire area has been bad. I'm not very happy about that, to be honest. I was supposed to throw down Lightning Rod, and the coral there was supposed to knock itself out, pretty much. But instead, the game decided to just eat the input. It's very hard to do this. It, it, it's really hard to do this, like, optimally, honestly. The area has a lot of skill checks, and any misinput can kind of screw up the pattern that you're going for. Very annoying.
I think this might be worth doing. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. I do need ignition, but it should take long enough that it's not that big of a problem. Everything. Alright, I just want to make sure I have a little bit of limit going into the final boss fight. Damn it! Oh my god, that's so bad, bruh! Oh, that's some freaking no name enemy. Oh my god. I hate this so much, bruh! Had so much limit. And all because some no name enemy hit me while I was trying to do wind up. <sighs> Sack of trash. I'm so mad, man. There was no reason that that should have ended up that way. Wasted three bars of limit on that. You want us to make you something? Uh, I. Brain. Anything no, no, no. Else uh, Goods Toll. It's the uh, strength uh, potions that you were after, dummy. Uh, by the defender. Yes. Uh, and then we want to grab clutch mines. And that's that. Re upgrade wing. Uh, rising over FOR. For that. And then um, Master Mega Flare, which I already had. Wait. No, no, no. Uh huh. Wind up oh, and thunderstorm. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's put the uh, thunderstorm on. So mad, man. At least this first phase, we get a bunch of limit off of the rod. So, Rust, Rod, Mega Flare. Limit Cancel, Thunder, Wind Up, Wing. Man, I'm so mad. 
bad. That was so stupid, bruh. the next one got it thunder wind up Let's go. Bow down. That's wrong. Rod. Okay. okay, that's not what I wanted either. Uh, ignition. We're on Bahamut right now, so Wing, Thunder, Limit to Tank the Event Horizon, then Mega Flare. Only with heads hung low is penance paid. Oh, wretched mortals incapable even of contrition. In fitting season shall we reap our harvest. <laughs> This chance, and still you would I think raise I changed your over to Bahamut, so I have to cycle twice here to get what thunder. The darkness bends. Walk on to L1, cycling his L2, time. so but let's make it his last. Your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I got lucky. Solid, solid, solid. All right. Now, the only thing I want last left is Judgment Bolt times upgrade and put that on Rama over Shiva, Thunder over Rod, Judgment over Wind Up. I want to top off my potions too because there's no reason to play this fast and loose. Mm. I need to tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine, and I'm going to need Otto's help. There's something about it. Okay. Okay. Cool cutscenes. Hurry up. Hurry up. Do 
sure seemed upset. All right. Now we're going to go do our final potion upgrade here. Actually, let's get uh, Judgment Bolt first. Okay, want to put Rama on over that. Uh, Thunderstorm and Judgment Bolt. She understands. If you're gonna buy some, uh, be quick see about strength pot. It'd better all be here. Uh, Potions. Your mind, you know. Right now, it's time to upgrade. What do you mm, want? Defender plus one. Oh, oh that's what not what I wanted. Uh, tss, I'm so else? stupid. Well, I guess we're just getting the defender First plus the one then. What next? It's gonna be mildly annoying. Not buying more clutch mines, it takes way too much time. <sighs> it's gonna really suck damage wise being 10 lower. So, what I did is I accidentally bought a Defender Plus One instead of crafting Defender Plus One, Defender Plus Two, which takes 40 clutch mines. But it takes like 30 to just craft a plus one defender. So I didn't have enough to make what I wanted. Because we're big dumb beasts. route the first part of this fight finally last night uh, while I had extra time. Uh, I kind of have to make my own thing since I use Judgment Vault over Wind Up. Giga Flare here is not a um, guaranteed thing. Ultima opens with two different attacks. One where he can he'll fly across the room and just run you down. Or he'll go up uh, and then stomp on you.
the uh, response I take is slightly different depending on which one we get. So if I get the one where he jumps up and then comes back down, I need to replace the rod and then follow up with those attacks that I listed. Uh, Thunder and Wing. And if I don't uh, get that one and he does the one across, I'm going to let him push me across the room anyway while getting my Thunderstorm going and then follow up with Wing from there. The only downside is I wish I could tell what icon I'm on. Makes my life a lot easier. I'm but that makes too much sense. Sorry about Dion. Don't be. Please. He did what he had to do. And it's time we did the same. I want to say I'm on... Garuda. Or not Should Garuda, but uh it would be the Rama right off. now. No, I think we're past that, Clive. <laughs> I suppose we are. So the walk down this hallway is quite long. Annoyingly so. So cold. So empty. We're close, aren't we? It uh Seems that way. But I don't want to think what could be waiting for us in there. Then think instead of those waiting for us at home. That's wrong. There we go. Okay, so we're on Rama right now, or on Ifrit. This moment in which I might revel in my creation, only to find it profaned, and so it must be cleansed. I should not have turned my limit off. What latent force feeds these flames? That was super greedy of me, and it cost me time. Is this no cost? Have you truly become? What I should have done was throw on the strength tonic. I think I would have offset. I, for the most part. You are not a god. You are but flesh and bone. You are not one of us. Because I got the fly-up phase, I didn't get nearly as much damage as I would have liked. I got lucky, though. There's a lot of very long attacks that, like, just take forever versus what I got there. So, luckily, I was able to push fairly quickly without having to wait for a huge amount of time. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Once, perhaps. But we are no longer yours. Our flames are our own, and they burn as one! Oh. 
All right, it's time to get good or die trying. That's not what I... What the fuck is going on here? I'm seeing a lot of stuff I've never seen before. We definitely lost time, because that phase one was super weird. things on cooldown ASAP. I got really good late time timing with my special attacks. Now for 10 minutes of fiddling around. Right. I think this phase works similar to phase call. one, so I kind of have an idea of the loop I want to go into. And realized we had the potential to be more than you could ever be. And so you turned your back on your creation. <clears throat> your back on the world, like the coward you are. You think you know me? You know nothing, Logos. Nothing. <laughs>
The only downside is I'm not sure what I'm on right now. I should be on... Um... Giga Flare, but I think my damage... Yeah, my damage was too low, so... I had to finish with one of the other abilities. So I'm either on Phoenix or I'm on, uh... Rama right now. Bathed in light, I stand above you. My rebirth complete. And you, for your defiance, shall pay the proper price. An eternity of anguish. Anguish. Pain. Suffering. You have known none, none of these. these. We, we have them. So we know what they grant. They bring us together. And that makes us strong. Thunder We're just gonna hard start with uh, the limit here, I think. Er, HP as much as possible here. Phase, we're not turning the limit off. That's my boy. Yes. 
still you cannot see. You are no better than us. We are one and the same. Ah, oh, nice miss, idiot. Okay, I know what we're getting here. Okay. Oh, that's my fault. <sighs> what an unfortunate phase. Judgment Ball doesn't clear here, I don't know what does. So sure of your place atop the world. You refuse to acknowledge those below. You chose to remain alone. You chose to broke the law. Now live with the consequences. Pushed away the hands that could have raised you higher. I do not need you. You are anyone. Oh my god, stop yapping, you're gonna fudge up my PB, dude. Plus one is still good enough, baby! The only fantasy here is yours. And we shall be its final witness. He kinda said the thing! Seven forty-four. The last PB to end them all. There will be no more. <laughs> we got one more run coming up for Quest for Glory, but that will be the end of this. All right, let's uh, stop the recording here.